<laughs> Frankie <laughs> Koza, what's it like being back in front of the mic? Horrendous. You know, it hurts. Yeah, I, I'm fucking well nervous. I'll, right. I'll get what well, I was saying to Cam. I'll get offered to do podcasts and that all the time. I'm Never sure. even fucking look up the podcast. I get these emails all the time. Never even look them up. Not interested. Fuck that. Not a chance. It's only because Cam has <laughs> been blagging me. <laughs> and here you are, mate. Three weeks, here I'm are. here. All right, yeah. and we got, we got Ben Willits jumping in for a little bit here. I've been strong-armed into it, and I really? <laughs> Seven million in my comfort zone at all. <laughs> And when, it's, when, it's in, when it's in the house, <laughs> mate, you don't have a choice. Exactly, yeah. You're going to be leaving Absolutely soon because you're off to the cinema. I am. Going to watch Dumbledore tonight. It's exciting times. Yeah, that's, that's I've never life. seen Harry Potter. I'm not a wow. fan myself, no, I'll be neither. honest with you, but no. I've seen it. The Perrier, get out. <laughs> now. Uh, then we're also joined by uh, Cameron King. <laughs> <laughs> Big sexy. Yeah, yeah. It's mad how he got to make up his own nickname, isn't it? <laughs> It worked. Oh, I was wondering where that it's come still, from. I ain't lie. <laughs> and then uh, Ferris will be joining us. Uh, he's it's Ramadan, so you know he's he's gone to the curry house. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> It'll be back when he's not Ramadan. Funny at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was you good. You missed life. it. it was good, if you though. want to talk with your mic, you can. Uh, you can almost like crank it up and bend it down, so you can like. Can I go like that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Feels wherever you want. Come on, Frank. You're used to this. Stop pretending like rain. As long as you don't start singing into it. Yeah, so please. We don't need that. I'll accept it. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna have some people uh, that do know you. I actually think people are gonna see this title and go, "I know that name." That's what I'm worried about with you. And this is what I said to Cam. I was like, "Who the fuck out of your listeners are gonna give a flying fuck about a geezer?" So I'm telling you, about 11 years ago. On reality TV. No, yes. like you were terrible as well. <laughs> <laughs> we starting early, are we? Yeah, yeah, all right, straight straight in. Coast there, all right. As long as I don't know where we're at. Well, the thing is, they took an interest in Ferris. Yeah, to be fair, they'll take an interest in anyone. Yeah, no, I, still, I still don't know who Ferris is. I don't <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's got 20,000 followers on, didn't he? Has he? Yeah. And got oh. Scooby what to do with him. Bless yeah. him. <laughs> I think sometimes uh, people just like to see a bit of diversity. In yeah, the nice. Group. Yeah. Nah, fair play. So uh, I always do a little bit of research uh, of before every podcast. Yeah. I went onto YouTube, typed in your name, first one, your X Factor audition, mm. 16 million YouTube views. Yeah. 16 million. Mm. That's I mean, a lot. It, yeah, was, it, lot. it was quite the start, to be fair. It was a good audition, it wasn't well, it? Funny, the, isn't it? Yeah, and you know what the most mental thing about that first audition was, right? So you do all the... There's loads of auditions before you see, before you actually see the judges and all that shit. But they didn't even fucking let me know that I was going to be the first one on, on the show. It was the first of that season, the first audition, the lot. Didn't have a fucking clue. I didn't even know if I was going to be shown on telly. I knew I'd got through. Yeah, you were begging to be shown on television. Oh, of course you? I was. <laughs> but you look, you I'd look... gone too far, Cam. <laughs> <laughs> you, look, you look pretty comfortable when you went out there. Like you... Yeah, that, that was just something I had from when I was younger, though. Do you know what I mean? I turned to, it on. I used to do theatre and that when I was like from the age of like eight. Do you know what I mean? How many, so... how many uh, interviews would you have done before? That what, one? before that? Yeah. Oh, mate, it was brutal. Like, I would say all in all... Probably about 10. Not, not interviews exactly, but you should go sing for producers and all that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's because it's, when you're There's young... There's so much, you're naive so to much it. before. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Like, And then they knew you're a bit of a character. And like before that first audition, you're like, okay, I've got to, I've got to impress. Well, I didn't even want to do it, James. <laughs> to be honest with you, I genuinely didn't want to do it. My old dear, obviously I said I'd done theatre when I was younger than that. So she never got over the fact that I stopped. They used to love it. Like, used to love it, man. I was getting all the lead roles and all that, but I was into my football. So you know what it's like. You boys are rugby boys, isn't you? You drink each other's piss and that. You're weird. <laughs> <laughs> we're sort of the same, but we just let each other have it. Bad. Do you know what I mean? We're horrible. Um, so it got to a stage, like, where it was like, oh, I sort of had to choose football or... Theatre, <laughs> which is a weird one. I didn't suit the fuck it. I wasn't the mould of doing theatre yeah. and stuff. I was more the football boy. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Banging in goals and being <laughs> Larry at school. Bit do you know a, what I mean? Bit of, bit of a lad. Bit of a lad. Yeah, yeah. But um, so I sort of made the choice when I was like 14. I was like, you know what? I can't handle the grief anymore. Fuck hey. that off. And my mum never got over it. 
ever. So she gave me 50 quid, right? This is God's <laughs> honest truth, right? She gave me 50 quid. She's like, and this, I was proper stoner at this point. <laughs> So I'm sitting with my mate Ollie, and I was like, mate, my mum's just giving me 50 quid. She said, I've got to go up to Wembley and audition for the X Factor. <laughs> right, right, honestly. And I was like, oh, do we just get a quarter? What do we do? And he was like, mate, and God bless him, he was like, mate, nah, just go up there. But honestly, I, I would have just spunked it on weed, 100%. <laughs> and then it just snowballed into... That, that crowd lapped up, though. That first one, they mate, you were a big nah. hit. But as I say, like, because I'd done the theatre and that when I was younger, it weren't like just a geezer. That was the first time he was on stage. I was fucking... Yeah, I loved it. I loved all that. You know How did you land on the song? What did you say? Well, they, they asked you to give you Lit. five. You have to give them five. Why don't you come on? Over? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Loads of hands yeah, involved yeah, yeah. in that as well. But no, they, they ask you to give, give them five and then they sort of tell you which one you're going to do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But they also said, right, so with, sorry, I'm proper rambling here. No, 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 no. So with the uh, tattoos and that, because that was like the thing of the audition. So just before I fucking go out on, well, before that, you do all the auditions, you do like eight auditions, whatever, before you see the judges. And I had, the seat, the summer before, I'd worked in Malia. I was just about to, I wanted to come on to Yeah, Malia. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you always been? I've not been to Malia. I've, I've been twice. Been. Oh, it's yeah. naughty, oh, yeah. isn't it? It's naughty. Yeah. So I, I'd done the summer before, and um, I, so during the winter back home, I auditioned, that's when my mum made me, yeah, well, say mate me, I was bang up for it, to be fair. But, <laughs> you know what I mean? It weren't all, uh, <laughs> I don't blame you, mother. Um, but, so that winter, I auditioned and I went through all these things and I was like, well, let you know, because it, it kept going. I kept getting through these things, kept getting through these auditions or whatever. And I was like, right, we'll let you know in eight weeks, you'll either get a letter or a phone call. So I was like, all right, sweet. So it got to like 10 weeks. I was like, fuck this, I'm going back to Mali. I ain't heard nothing, do you know what I mean? So I went back to Mali, and then after a month that I'd been there, and during that month was when I got them tattoos on my arse. Do you know what I mean? And the most important thing about it, I didn't shag any of them. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I didn't shag any of them. Right, right oh, listen. God. So I was like, what a surprise. What a surprise. I've seen you with women, mate. You are terrible. <laughs> it hurts, but I'll accept it. <laughs> So was it seven in one go or was it so you got No, seven? no, there was two sets of Scottish girls. So he's got uh for the record for anyone yeah. any of the sixteen million mm. viewers watching listening to this right now, uh you got seven seven girls, poor girls tattooed on, on my Not house. only have but you got I, them tattooed on your bum, but you got them out on national telly. Yeah, right, and this to one Kelly to, Rapp, this Kelly is Kelly Rowland. <laughs> Kelly Rowland, yeah. Kelly Rapp, Kelly, oh, she? Oh, no. No, no, she's unbelievable. Isn't she? She's one of them. Just... Quick, quick side tangent. What's she like in real life? Go, like lovely, most gorgeous personality. Just really nice to you. And when I talk to American people, I just feel like I'm in a film. Straight, <laughs> no, I do straight away, <laughs> like straight up. But she was so lovely. I can't even say a bad word about her. But yeah. Ta so where was I? Fuck Tattoos. hell, you boys are Tattoos. <laughs> Tattoos. So Scottish girls. Scottish girls, right? So. Just before I go, oh yeah, so they ring me when I'm in Malia, right? I get a phone call. It was actually my old man. My old man rang me and was like, mate, you've got a fucking ITV on the phone. <laughs> trying to get hold of you. And I was like, fuck off. <laughs> nah, B.A., like, what are you winding me up? And he was like, nah, mate, they want you to come home. Like, I've given them a number to get hold of you on, whatever. So I spoke to this, this lady, Anna, her name is. She's actually a sweetheart as well. But she was like... Um, Right, Frankie, yeah, basically you've been shortlisted to come and audition for The X Factor. And I was like, well, what does that mean? What does shortlisted mean? She was like, well, you come home and you might get the audition with the judges, you might not. And I was like, you're having a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Best time of my life, like not a chance in hell. Um, and she was like, is there any like change to your uh, appearance? Like, do you still look the same as when your last audition? And I was like, well, I've got like seven birds. <laughs> That's right. She, that went, like, oh, honestly, she, went, like... she went, get home now. <laughs> Straight away. And I was like, all right, sweet as. I was on the next flight. Because it, it just, I just knew that they'd want that. Do you know what I mean? But, so just before I go out and have my audition with the judges, literally, and when I say just before, I mean, I'm standing side of the stage 
someone comes over in my ear I'm all mic'd up and that's like, oh, by the way, they know about the tattoos. They're going to, they're yeah, going to yeah, worm yeah. their way around it to thingy. And then they're like, oh, sh- get out there. So I'm like, fucking hold on. <laughs> <laughs> hold on a minute. Do you know what I mean? And then I'm there. Just, and yeah, Talisa. You remember Talisa? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Dubs, Nana Nai. Yeah, so that's a good line oh, yeah, for judges. Oh, uh, yeah, no. Yeah, Talisa, you'd, you'd rather Simon, Simon though, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You have yeah, Louis, Sa- Louis, Sa- Louis Walsh. Louis Walsh yeah. was there. What's the other one? Gary Carl. Oh, you give him a bit. You give him he a bit. He's my boy. Him, He's yeah. my boy, Gary. I love Gary. You had a bit of a lid back then, didn't you? Yeah, proper. And then I saw the tabloids are like. Brand new look. You're like, no, he's, he's had a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> he's unrecognisable. No, no, he's, he's had a fucking I haircut. Uh, so you you did those uh, that audition. Like, what was it? How long did it take between it being filmed and it being aired on TV? Um, I think it was like about two months. Mate, and, maybe and to, even and a bit to quote you, a lot of people watch X Factor. Oh my God, mate. Honestly. At that time as well. Yeah, that, that was, was when X Factor was big. Yeah. You know? We had, so the first, so as I say, I didn't know that I was going to be the first shown on that series. But the next day, so that was a Saturday night, the next day, it was all just a bit like, what the, what just happened? Do you know what I mean? Like, that's mad. What, I was just on telly. Did they say to you though, were they like, you can't talk about it, you can't tell anyone? Can you tell you, he was in Malia going, (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> girls at any point my phone's about to ring and I'm about to get, I'm about to get fucking shortlisted and it's probably got like a burly bed I told you but yeah. I, went, I went down to I went down to the shops in my hometown in Brian I went down to the shops with my mates literally the morning after and there was people that I knew like I, we knew each other just from seeing each other being from the same place and everyone was just on me mate like on me like, they're fucking coming fight, for you mate fight. they're coming <laughs> Like you were hot sure property. I left it in your car. For a couple property. of years, you were hot property. You were like front page of the newspaper. But, yeah. All the time. But never felt like I was, you never feel like that. No. Do you know what I mean? I felt the same. I was still a, yeah, I just felt the same. Like it, it was great. I could Did do you have whatever that, I wanted <laughs> with pretty much anybody. <laughs> <laughs> you are horrible. You are horrible. Could no, you, re- but you, know could you re- repeat that one more time? <laughs> No, you know what I mean though. Like there was there was perks to it, but you're still yourself. Like it didn't like just all of a sudden you're like fucking which is what yeah. I thought it would be like. I always wanted to be on telly. So how always. how quick after that? Because obviously you did that first audition, it was a, a massive hit, do you know what I mean? Mm. You got obviously you became quite popular because of that. Mm. How long after that was it until you got to the next stages and then you started to become um, Frankie Kakosa? So I think there's like this ain't like six Oh, you mean like after X Factor and all that? No, no, no. Like between audition oh, okay. one and Before audition two through. and like... Yeah, like there's like six weeks because they have to get the round of all the first auditions, you know, like the first oh, ones yeah. where you, they introduce you to these people. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was about six weeks or so, I think. What was your competition like? When you, like, How did you assess who you're up against? And when you, when you had that first initial reaction from the crowd, were you like, I'm in it? Uh... No, not really. I never, ever, like, I never thought I should have been there doing what I was doing. Like, Felt the like annoying thing is, the annoying, yeah, oh, 100%, like, that's a great way of putting it as well. Like, without any shadow of doubt, even when I was younger doing the theatre and stuff, I never felt like I should have the lead role or anything like that. It was always like, right, well, you've got it, just go for it. Do you know what I mean? So in terms of like, so I was with like, there was some big, like Little Mix and they won it eventually. Bless them. Do you know what I mean? Bless them. Bless them. Bless yeah, them. I think they're doing all right, mate. <laughs> no, no, honestly. What? what? God bless them. <laughs> <laughs> like, call me naive. A Little Mix still in the mix now or like they've they're broken? They, it, they? Yeah, it, it did kick off a bit, didn't it? Oh, they with, got big, yeah. yeah oh, oh, massive. Mate, fucking hell. Yeah, they're like. Yeah, but you don't want that. Yes. You don't, you don't, you don't I want didn't that. want that. Yeah. That's why I've gone down this route. <laughs> Stay humble, isn't it? <laughs> we would never have been able to get but, in contact no, with No, like, honestly, I never, in a, never ever thought I should be there. And that's one of the things that fucking pisses me off is the old cocky thing. I used to get cocky little cunt all the time. I, I don't even like being me. Ever. Do you know what I mean? I don't like it. And people are calling me cocky. It's like, fuck off, mate. Like, seriously, it's bollocks. So right. That's one thing I didn't like. What's crazy is like, so uh, I've experienced this where 
say 0.1% of the world are just bit of little cunts. Mm. Like the most horrible little cunts <laughs> that got beaten by their parents or whatever it is. Like whatever, all the things could have gone wrong as a kid. They're probably struck by lightning when they're a toddler developing, whatever it was. When you have millions of people, like the human brain can't fathom millions. I think mm. the average brain can only remember seven numbers, let alone having 10, 20, 30 million people view on TV. Yeah. That gives you enough people commenting on the sun, newspaper Mate. columns to ruin your life. Mate. And, and, and then it's very difficult as a human being to go, oh, but this guy's called me a, you know, an arrogant cunt. Well, yeah. statistically, you, could, you, you don't get that. Nah, and like not. one negative comment carries the weight that not even a hundred nice ones, nice ones you skim over, that horrible one. You're like, Ugh. Mate, honestly, like, and I had so many people going, oh, don't listen to that shit. Just look at the nice ones. Look at the nice ones. Exactly what you're saying. It's like, fucking, a geezer just said he wants me to die of a needle in my arm. <laughs> like, like, he, he can't wait for me to be found with a needle in my arm. Like, what the fuck? Hell, am I meant to just skip past that? <laughs> that is it was, horrible. Like, it was it's brutal. Like, it's, it's like you say, they're the comments that you pick out. Yeah. Oh, Someone could be as nice as Pytia, yeah. but as soon as you see one Mate, of those like, negative comments, 100%. that's what that's what's sticks And to I, there. I think with my situation, I don't know why the way I say portrayed, but I was fucking giving it myself as well. Do you know what I mean? I was giving it some. It weren't just what I was painted to be. It was either love him or fucking despise the little fucker. Do you know what I mean? Which. There was a, a lot of place bad. There was in. a lot of hate. Like it was horrendous. Some that's, of the shit. That's and my family TV. had to see it as well. And it was mm. like, it, it hurt them as well as it did me. Did you? I was gonna say, did you get a lot of that from like the press and stuff and people that were like the around you with the press, at the time? The press fucking loved me up until it went a bit self in the live shows and that. As soon as I was in the bottom two, the press were fucking on me. I was favourite to win the fucking thing. I couldn't even sing. And I was favourite to win it. It was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. <laughs> it was ridiculous, but I was. I was favourite to win the fucking thing up until the live shows. And as soon as I was in bottom two, it was like, whoa. It just turned sinister and dark. It was like, what the? Fuck? Have you seen that? Like TV, well, TV always want to see you. You do shit like Married at First Sight. I've got yeah. slammed in Australia recently for portraying people as being fucking worse than they are because they need to get an angle. And then when I went on Good Morning Britain, you did this morning recently. I saw that yeah, with yeah, like, yeah. Holly and uh, I, I knew I was getting blindsided the second I went out. Really? They were like, they were like, they called my manager and said we need someone uh, about fat shaming. Um, do you reckon you get James to come on and fat shame Piers? And we were like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds right up my yeah, street. Yeah. <laughs> but you got on with Piers, didn't you? Yeah, because, and then Susanna Reid chips in and goes, hold on a second. You're she was annoyed. She was like, you're building your PR here. You're supposed to be fat shaming Piers. <laughs> and, she, and then Piers just drops That's in just it. That's shameless. And he goes, do you think I'm fat, James? I was like, it's not the first thing I thought of. <laughs> I planned that three Buzz weeks in. out. Buzz three in. weeks out, I've been planning that. Yeah. But like, the, the TV producer, oh, fucking hell, what a waste of time. They're like, they want to see you, the they want to see you crash and burn. They literally yeah, want to see you crash and burn. Mate, they are ruthless. And as soon as there's one bad story, like, it just snowballs, mate. Like, they encourage you to the, act on that, though. Like, you're saying, like, it was kind of your way, you wanted to be uh, a guy Yeah, the they wanted me out. They wanted, no, not out as... Like, like did, did x Factor and ITV be like, portrayed big mate, up this character hundred like, percent mate right so you live in a house with everyone there's a big old mansion in Hertfordshire so everyone's there I was going Frank we got your VIP here tonight right we got your VIP here go out fucking bosh everyone else there are like why the fuck can't we go out <laughs> we want to go out and get smashed like no nah, you got to be up for a rehearsal <laughs> I was just like 18, like, fuck it, right, let's go. 18 as well, it's yeah. so wow, young. That's so yeah, young. Yeah, it was so fucking young. pretty, yeah, it was pretty intense. But I would turn up to these places that they're saying, look, we've got your VIP here, and there'd just be paps everywhere. It was what it was, but I loved it. I loved that they was going, go and do this, do you know what I mean? And then the next oh, day, it'd 18, be all over the papers. I was the only cunt in the papers, do you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah. I actually remember a time, right, so when it started going a bit self, I was doing shit on the show. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, I just ran Gary, I ran Gary Barlow, like, God bless, he's a sweetheart as well. Hold on a minute. 
I rang, rang Gary Barlow. Barlow. Oh yeah, you know, just I couldn't do it now. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't do it now. It was a three week period. <laughs> but um, I rang him and I was like, guys, you know what, mate? Fuck this. I was like, I've had enough. Like it was too, I didn't like the bad comments and that. I hated it. Like I couldn't stand it. I was like, I want to be loved. Literally, I, I hated it. I did. I genuinely just wanted to be loved. And when it got well out of hand, <laughs> I was like, guys, I ain't doing this, mate. I was like, no way. And I don't think he'll mind me saying this. <laughs> I'm sure he listens every week. <laughs> <laughs> but but oh, he was like, mate, oh, do you know how much, he was like, do you know how much you've earned these fuckers over the last fucking week with your antics going out and that? Like, you, they ain't letting you go. He was like, give me another week. Give me another week and you'll be fine. You ain't going home this week. Like, you'll be fine. We'll sort it out next week. Fucking steam straight through after one of the worst performances you've ever seen in your life. But they know, they know like what's what they need and what's going to make them yeah, money it's, it's and the what people are going to like to see. They want it's, it's the yeah, character they want yeah. more than anything else, isn't it? And exactly. you fit the bill for that. But and it was yeah. something a bit different as well. <laughs> That's quite funny, isn't it? Where they're like, can you imagine when they come through and they're like, oh, he's got to go. Oh, he's quite entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> that's well, he's made us quite a bit and of that's money. That's all it so. was from the start with the tattoos. Do you know what I mean? I weren't fucking Leon, no, <laughs> Leona Lewis, Fra Frankie Cocosa. Do you know what I mean? It's just pathetic. I should never have been in the last seven, ever. Was she on the same? No, of course what? she wasn't. <laughs> What's wrong with you? What sort of fan? I watch I watch X Factor. <laughs> you look I like actually, I, do you know what? I quite enjoyed X Factor. Then, then yeah. someone would come out and I. I like it the way they build you up. You know, like when you watch Top Gear and Jeremy Clarkson just takes the car and then he goes, until you press this button. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, oh, got goosebumps with Jaguar F type. <laughs> like in X Factor, I like being taken on the on the yeah. journey. And mate, I knew. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. You ever thought about giving it a go, like maybe going back and doing Britain's Got Talent? No, I'd honestly rather lick piss off a stinging nettle <laughs> genuinely I swear to god even coming on here and I, like I shit you not I'm only doing it because Cam to be honest with you, <laughs> scares the shit out of me I've been in bits I've had I've only had 14 pints before it's horrible how long have you been thinking about that you teed that one up yeah, for oh, yeah one big time yeah. proper you can tell but I think it's it's good to talk. Like we're not here to like throw you under the bus. No, I know. If that. you do it to yourself, that's fine. But exactly. Like, but um, that's what I was worried about. Yeah, well, I think a lot of people, a lot of people are quite intrigued. There's no up until recently, there's not been a way for people to see behind the scenes. Mm. Everything was TV. Everything was, and I hate the facade of TV a lot of the time. Where I've gone on uh, TV shows and the presenters are all miserable cunts on their phone. Yeah. Yeah. And then they're like, they're like, oh, that's fucking yeah, disgusting. Bang. And then they're like, five, fourth. So James, yeah, welcome, yeah. you've got a new book well, coming. Well. And like, you're like, whoa, this, this whole bullshit that they kind of like cover TV with and everything, it's not real life. Nah, not and, the, and the way, okay. it's fucking energy sapping, I bet, when you're there and they're like, okay, right, come on, we need you to do this. Yeah, it's, the whole thing was pretty fucked. I ain't gonna lie to you, like, drain, it, I, Genuinely, I really wish, and it's probably my biggest regret, is not enjoying it. But it was out of my control. I didn't enjoy it one bit. Did you think at one point, oh, I'm, I'm just going to take this for a ride as far as I can? That's, yeah, pretty much. Like, And that's what I mean. Like, Even the songs and that. I mean, like, some good things did happen, like Boom Bod. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah, that Boom Bod. <laughs> so who was it? it Booty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, my bad. Big up. Big up, Bo T. Why do you think I'm sat next to the kettle? Today, guys. <laughs> but, yeah, oh. nah. It, it was just... I might, if you don't mind me asking, how much do they offer for something I, like that? What, Bo T? I got three grand. Three thousand In English. English, yeah. yeah do yeah. you have a cup of it? Huh? No. <laughs> you wind me up. I knew how bad it was, but I was skin. <laughs> Simple as that. Didn't you say it paid for your holiday? shallow as fuck, eh? Paid for your holiday, it, didn't it? I was in Bali for a month. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> of one post. To be fair. And I... they paid me before I put the post up. It was mental. I put it up in Bali. That's it. Yeah. To be fair, like... <laughs> I, I hate all that influencer bullshit. No, you but, don't. I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but then, like, if you think about it, you're like, yeah, I mislead a few people three months in Bali, though. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Fuck it. Like, I was quite bad with that shit. But I didn't know. I, I genuinely, at the time, I... Did you have a manager? 
Uh, nah, not really. Like, well, when I got booted off the X Factor, the management were meant to fuck me off. Modest, like, they was meant to fuck me off, but they knew they was going to earn dough because of the way I exited or whatever. And they kept me on for a bit. As soon as Big Brother was over, they were like, nah. What was, so when, look at the gap between like X Factor and Big Brother. How long was that? Uh, so I got booted out of X Factor, like, I'm going to say booted out. <laughs> yeah, come on, tell the story. What happened? Uh, just... Right, so basically, <laughs> I was obviously like, they, uh, I was this character. I was a character. I was going out. I was getting people. I was just an 18-year-old. I wouldn't even say a character. I would do that normally, but I was just happened to be on a TV show. Um, so I was in the last seven or whatever it was, and my mates had just been booted out, uh, boys in the risk. And there was a bloke who was always there, like, for us or whatever, and he was the one you go to if there's any stories you don't want coming out or whatever. He was like, uh, yeah, run all the papers. What do you call that? Uh, public? He's not a <laughs> Why look at me, mate? Is it? Publicist. Something like that. But he sorts all that shit out. And um, so I'm on the, on, the, on the coach waiting to be taken back after the live show, and they've just been voted out, and I was gutted, gutted for them. And because I was doing shit, every time someone went, I was just like, oh, it makes you feel bad. Do you know what I mean? Like, so this geezer comes on the on the coach and he goes, Frank, uh, just had a pap shout at us saying, oh, we got Frankie being naughty last night. And it just so happened that I had been being very naughty the night before. Right? Don't but sound like I, you. I knew there was, there was no proof or anything. I got my cousin to stand by the door. <laughs> Oh, so it's terrible <laughs> but um, so I knew there was no proof I was like yeah well he was my mate at this point this geezer like he'd been there for the old thing so I was like yeah well I had a fucking line in the toilet but no one saw do you know what I mean like it can't be that I was like it can't be that and he was like right you sure no one saw you do the line and I was like nah didn't see any of them <laughs> <laughs> I was looking down <laughs> <laughs> right so whatever and that was the end of it Sweet as, next day I get a phone call um, and they're like, right, Frank, they need you in the office. Like, I think it's Tottenham Court Road, a big old ITV. It's Talkback, Talkback Thames, right? Okay. Yeah, Talkback Thames. I think they're the ones who put ITV on, whatever. Um, so I turn up there and bless my old dear and my stepdad, right? They're all dressed up and I think they was like getting invited to like a premiere or something like that, like, because we was like the last, we the last seven. So they're all dressed up and I was like, what the fuck are you doing here? Like, didn't even tell me they were coming or nothing, sitting in this office. And I was like, a big old producer sitting there and I was like, Frank, basically you uh, you told, I can't remember, his, Russell, you told Russell last night that you got in the bag. Um, they didn't say that exactly. <laughs> you've been naughty. <laughs> and um, you did. Yeah, you've, you've sort of got to go. You've broken a golden rule. And I was like, <laughs> so I was like, bollocks. I was like, <laughs> Give me proof. I was like, show me proof now. Like, got prop my back up. Bear in mind, I'm on a come down. So I'm fucking rage. <laughs> you gotta get ultra offensive, innit? It's yeah, like, if you ever up. get caught misbehaving with a bird, you, yeah, you, deny. you were cheating. They're like, they're, not, they're like, uh, hold on. Yeah. How am I getting under well, the posh for getting <laughs> You gotta flip I was it like, on I was, Well, no, it was just like, I was like, just show me proof. I knew there was no proof. I was like, well, I know what you're about to do to me and I know it's about to go out because this is quite intense, this, this moment. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I was like, deny, deny. I was like, well, show me proof and I'll admit it. I'll hold my hands up. And I was like, look, Frank, and bless my old dear. Like, she was a bit upset and that. She's like, you're not going to tell everyone why and stuff like that. And I was like, no, we're going to release a, a, a quote from him saying I've broken a golden rule, all this, um, whatever. And then on the way home, from that, well, I, I was like, well, I'm just going to come out and say I didn't fucking do anything. I don't know why I've been kicked out. Like, I have no idea. And I was like, well, you ain't going to be on the tour. And the tour is like a bit of a big mm. deal. Do you know what I mean? How, how often are you going to get to fucking perform at the O2? Do you know what I mean? Like, don't worry, um, I'll, I'll let you know what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But anyway, cheers for that. Um, and on the way home, from that meeting, it was just everywhere, all over the place. Did they have evidence? Nah, nothing. I know for a just fact. Just hearsay. 
Well, I had admitted it to that bloke, and then the, the what they come so out with was sex say. boasting. It was like sex and cocaine boasting, and I was like. I literally just fucking told my mate Russell <laughs> that I had a line last night and it just went bang and it was fucking everywhere. Do you know what I hate it as well is like, first of all, in these media organisations, the people that do coke goes all the way to the top, if yeah. not worse, at the top of the people that yeah. they're doing this. And also, you go to like Henley Regatta, Ascot Races, oh, you go mate. to anything. Yeah. You, I remember we went to Henley Regatta and I, I was peeing in urinal. And I looked to my side, there's about 10 urinals, nine people have got a key up their nose. Mate. <laughs> and... Like, I know that a lot of people listening to this are like, drugs are bad. I'd be like, drinking makes you tired. It makes you want to kebab, but it makes you want to fucking, you know, start getting sloppy and getting your mates in headlocks. <laughs> and I'm not justifying cocaine, but for no. a lot of people, it keeps them on the straight and narrow, keeps them sociable, and it keeps them away from the kebab shop and out with their mates. Yeah. And when you can say to someone like, you know, people drink coffee all day to stimulate themselves and make themselves feel more alert. When it comes to doing a night out, that's illegal. Yeah. <laughs> Don't, do it. It. Don't do it. And, um, and like, yeah. I, I fucking hate it. And I was, I've always said this, I'm pro legalization for cocaine. I think if you were to legalize it tomorrow, tax it and it, it, establishments were like, if you're going to do it, do it in the bathroom, nothing yeah. would change. Nah. Apart from billions would go to the yeah, taxpayer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like, then you get quality control, prevent overdoses, use the profits from the like taxation to help people in rehab. I hate this bullshit provide, like the, everyone seems to think no one's doing it. Yeah. Yeah. I think nowadays it's rarer to find someone that's never done or doesn't do cocaine than anything else. Yeah. Especially young 18 year olds mate, who, are on, Brighton, who, are on, <laughs> who are on TV thrown into the spotlight mate, like that thought, and told that, to go that, out as mate, well. That's how I felt. I just thought it was unfair. And it's only, to be fair, at the time I was like, right, whatever. But it was the next day I was sitting back in the council house in my bed, literally the next fucking day, just sitting there like, what the fuck? And, and I was I've got waking 40 up next to the outside. 40 paps outside my mum's house, right? Just all sitting there in the cars waiting for any sort of movement in the blinds. Like, it was ridiculous. And I thought, I only think that now, actually, to be fair, that was an 18 year old kid who'd done everything you asked of him. Do you know what I mean? I'd done every. If they had told me to attempt to backflip on stage, I would have fucking done it. I've never done a backflip in my life, <laughs> not even on trampoline, ever. <laughs> Scares the shit out of me. I would have done Man, it. What's that me? like where, you, you said, they're outside your mum's house, all of them just sitting there waiting. What'd you do? Just you so, try well, what I it or? No, 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 right. So you, what you do, you bang a quilt over your mate's head and then have a few <laughs> of your other mates walking them out, send them all that way in a motor and then you go that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, it was, it was pretty pretty intense, I ain't going to lie to you. And I just felt bad for my family and that. I didn't want that. I never, ever wanted that. I, I Don't get me wrong, I jumped into the bad boy thing and all that, and I fucking went in for it head first, because that's what I thought they wanted that. I've wanted to be on X Factor, Pop Idol, or whatever, since Gareth Gates, Gates lost to Will Young. I was... Devastated. Wow, that's a lot. I that was, a fear, mate, that? Honestly, <laughs> I was devastated. I remember crying when Gareth Gates lost. Crying. I was like, I'm, go I'm going to do it for you guys. Yeah, and I started, I didn't it. I'm sorry, Gareth. Yeah. He definitely listens. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, guys. Fuck. Yeah. Will, Will Young was it? Will Young. Does he still produce music? I don't know. He started yeah, acting in that thing. I'm not while, sure. Man. Yeah. Do you ever think, right, this is a bit of a weird question, like, so imagine you, you look at the peaks and troughs of taking MD and me and I'm going to come down. <laughs> you get to the highest yeah. heights and you get the lowest lows. Yeah. Like without taking the piss, no, are you on. in some respects kind of glad that you didn't ride this fucking massive train for 10 years? Because now you're, you're a dad. I'm a dad, husband, yeah, yeah, I am. And although there was an element of dysfunction from your earlier success, if you had had more earlier success and you didn't get booted, you probably have more dysfunction now. 100%. Like I know if that money hadn't run out, I would still be snorting gear. No, I would. It's a fact. It's, it's true, I'm a drug addict. Yeah. Simple as that. I am. And I just am. I or can't You just say... really like cocaine. I love cocaine. Right, here's the question. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I do. And I'm not even worried about but, my old dear, my mum and that. I know. But the, I am sorry. Imagine, and this is another thing, right? You know, like you're allowed to be a coffee enthusiast. I'm not comparing coffee to cocaine. Yeah. Exactly. But like... When people, and I know cocaine does ruin a lot of lives. Of course. But for the majority of people, it doesn't. 
for the majority of users, it just perks up their weed. And I hate this narrative. That- it's horrible on a Monday and Tuesday, though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. but, do you know what? Everyone says... That works the worst. Yeah. <laughs> but everyone says, why did you do cocaine? And everyone's like, well, the answer's pretty obvious because you feel great. Yeah. Well, but- the, the question should be, why don't you do cocaine every day? Yeah. And the answer is... Well, well, no, 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 no. <laughs> like, yeah, like look, I can say that and I say, like, I, I, I do... I don't know how you even fucking differentiate is that the word Goodbye, son. Uh, like a discrepancy <laughs> <laughs> personal um, I don't know how you differentiate a drug addict from someone who just we likes it y- y- likes it but I have v- made a conscious effort to try and stop since the bubba's been born <laughs> mum <laughs> I promise you and baby's mum I really have tried but like, I, I, I feel know. bad because I'm saying yeah, like, do, I love it in that, but, yeah, I, but do, I know what I need to do as a dad now. Do you and think, though, do it. I know that. that having that experience when you were that age, being painted as that, that Frankie, coke up the nose, or mate, it stuff, turned me into then, a coke head. Yeah, but that's what I mean. From having that experience and then it snowballing after that, because as soon as that happened, if people get kicked off the X Factor, majority of the time they just get forgotten. You were still in the limelight. You were still there. People were still talking about your media. Come second still- on Celebrity Big Brother. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he was so, this is that this. cocky thing. You know me, right? Cam yeah. knows me like more than you boys. Do you know what I mean? Cam, you know me. Yeah, you know I me. actually, I ain't actually that. I actually hate myself. <laughs> you know, no, I genuinely, I don't like it being Frankie Coke up the nose. Up. I hate it. But for some reason, there's just a part of me that's like, yeah, way, bang, bang. And I can't stop it. But that's what I'm saying. Does that stem from being in the limelight at such a young age? No, I've being... always been well cocky. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? Like, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I don't can't even that. have a serious conversation about that. it. I just say it. Yeah, but that's your defence. That's like yeah. your yeah. defence. So I'm defense. not an expert in this field, but like when people say they love to drink, right? They say, I need to stop drinking. I go, no, nah. I'm like, you need to find something you like more than drinking. Nice. So for yourself, like having a kid, I think there's going to come a point. I could be wrong. You mm, could, I could swallow my words here. Yeah. But you go, when you're young, single, and you've got nothing to worry about, not many things are better than cocaine. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, right. going out for beers with your mates, having a bag and, you know, sitting around and talking about, you know, dysfunctions you had in your childhood. <laughs> don't get much better. Right? <laughs> Mashallah, welcome first. But then, oh, fuck off, Ferris. We're getting on well then. <laughs> but then <laughs> oh, bless ya. But then, right, mate. I think that as um, <laughs> as, uh, as you as you get older, and uh, is it a boy you've had? Yeah, is it a boy or a girl? Little boy, yeah. So there's going to come a point where oh, cheers, Fez. Salam alaikum. There's going to come a point where time with your boy or being there on a Sunday morning taking him to football, you will enjoy that more than getting on the session night. And and I know, I know what I'm saying, like what I've said. It doesn't seem that way. Already, the buzz I get from having him on the weekend or whatever is, woo, woo, when I'm with him all the time, every day. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, yeah, like the buzz I get from being around him, it is a game changer and it has been a game changer. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, I have times where... I don't need to be responsible and I'm not responsible in them times at all. Do you know what I mean? Were you trying to smash up my car the other night? Bloody hell. <laughs> don't start. What? Was, was he? What? That's you when it's make up, up stories. That's Maybe when it's make up stories. I was stories. trying to go to sleep. Hold up. No, I was loud in here. I weren't beating no one's car up. They'd batter me. <laughs> Have you just got asked me up saying I did that? Well, trying, trying, trying to get him choked out. Show me the proof. Trying to get him choked out. I did nothing. But, yeah. No, like, it is. It has changed 100%. Yeah, to be I mean? fair. Without doubt. Yeah, like, you have. Without and doubt. do you know what? I think if someone can't find you likeable for being so open and transparent, because some people will look at you and even me talking about cocaine and go, you're a dickhead. Mm. But I'll go, hold on. I'm just the only person who's been honest in front of you. Because mm. so many people listening to this, everyone around them lies to them. Even yeah. girls that go and... Girls are just bad as boys, if not worse. Getting on it in the toilets, coming out and lying about it. Yeah. I'm like, I can tell you're on cocaine. <laughs> yeah. I've done it before. It really <laughs> it looks like. <laughs> and I'm like... And like, if, if people, it's like a dirty little secret. I'm like, you do way worse things than that. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, I think it, we should normalise it. We, we shouldn't, shouldn't say to people like, there's going to, and people, this is a very good discussion where people say, you can tell your kid he should do it. I go, well, do you know what? I'm probably going to let him do what he wants. 
Mm. And if he gets carried away with it, and I need to step in. I probably will. Yeah. But then the same way, your parents probably did the same thing for you. Exactly. I think exactly. a big part of it, like you say, is the responsibility that comes with it. Of you know course. I mean? Yeah. You're not getting carried away. You're not getting yourself into dangerous or yeah, stupid yeah, situations yeah. and stuff, you know. But like, as you said, like you're a single man, you ain't got any responsibilities. It's, what else are you going to fucking do? No, lads, I'm not getting on the gear that's going to make <laughs> you feel amazing. I'm yeah, going right, to get a kebab. Let me know what I missed out on. And like, um, yeah, I think for a lot of people, it then becomes almost like a social thing. Yeah. Like we're like, oh, let's sneak into a bedroom, lock the door at a house party. Oh, we shouldn't be in here. And um, <laughs> yeah, it just it just annoys me how many people are dishonest about it. I bet the, yeah. the amount, yeah, what was it? I, it's, I don't know the Bible that well, but it's like whoever's innocent cast the first stone. Is that the saying? I'd love Fine. to know if we get sure. it. Yeah, of course it is. We get on the Bible. <laughs> we, like, we line up all the editors and from the Daily Mail on the Sun and we go, <laughs> yeah. okay. Guys, we've got a special blood test here. It's going to determine if you've ever done cocaine. Oh, mate. Let's get everyone that slandered you. Do you know what I mean? It. Exactly. Like, and yeah, that, as I say, at the time, I did just cover everything up. I did become what they were calling me. I genuinely did. Do you know what I mean? I hadn't even done that much gear before. Loads of meow. <laughs> Loads of meow. MCAT. <laughs> yeah, MCAT. I've never done MCAT. <laughs> oh, mate. Fucking change your life. <laughs> so there's a, there's, I'm joking. There's Fuck. a mate. There's a mate of mine. I won't name him yeah. because um, he'd kill me. But he was having a shower at my house once at uni. And at uni, I'd never touched drugs. I oh, never right, did. No, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'd never probably up until I was 24. Never touched a hard drug apart yeah. from weed. Weed's not a drug in my eyes. It's like <laughs> no, it's of course it's a plant. It grows. <laughs> it just grows in the ground. Just like then again, so does coke. Coke. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> But um, my friends had the MCAT and they were like, or like a gloss junior, like, do you want some? I was like, nah, my mate went to my showers, came out. And I look at him and I realise he's got, he's brushing his teeth, but he's got toothpaste in his hair and shower gel in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and he's giving me a weird look. Are you sure that's MCAT? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Mate, that's really bad. And I was like, bro, I was like, and he was like, this don't taste right. I was like, nah, bro. And they put me off it for years. <laughs> so I can have a four years. Mate, like, that, that was... A mental time. Do you what remember when it like? came out? Like it, it was just no drug. Buy it online. It was all you? over. Yeah, for a little like, while, it was legal. We was buying yeah. it as plant while. fertilizer. Yeah. Like online, you could get it from China as plant fertilizer. Big old bags of it, mate. Like it was a joke. I tried Selling buying tenner a pop. And <laughs> there, was, <laughs> there was salvia gavornium. Is that what's called? Salvia, salvia was fucking. And that's still legal, well. isn't it? Yeah, no, that is a legal drug. Well, it was. I don't know if it still is. Did you know about that salvia? Was mad. It's a herb from the basil that was, family. You bang it in a bong, don't you? And fucking, mate, it's that a, was. It's, a, it's part fuck. of the basil family, but if you smoke it, you're fucked. Like, bad. As well. like, Loose you blank out, you're gone. <coughs> like, bad, mate. I'd mate, my, mate, my mate fell down the stairs. Oh, yeah, mate. Bad on it. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> I was about to as well. <laughs> can't. He's a dad as well. Well, two and two it. together. <laughs> <laughs> have you heard of that spice shit they give people? Yeah, that, that's that's yeah, uh, in prison, spice, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bad thing in prison. Spice is like um, where people like turn into zombies or whatever. Yeah. They just get a tray of herbs and spray it with chemicals. And then it looks like you're buying, it feels like you're buying weed. So people smoke it, but that sends them crazy. Yeah, but, um, that's dangerous stuff. That's why it needs to be, drugs need to be legalised. And then but, they can be regulated. Yeah, but you know you what? Then you could have yeah. these little control centres where you're like, People were like dabbling their toe. Have you ever heard the, the stories your mum and dad were like, they catch their daughter's smoke and they come home and make them smoke a whole pack? <laughs> you're not. <laughs> that. That. You're going to smoke until you're sick. Yeah. You're <laughs> that. Just salvia the fuck out of your kid. <laughs> <laughs> no, do you know what? I've had a couple of trips to like uh, Croatia where, you know, like, where you take a pill of MDMA and nothing happens and you realise. I've gone too far. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, it's, a learning, anything evil. it's a learning curve, isn't it? Kids yeah. trip over, break their arms, know not to run so fast. But like, um, yeah. What was MCAT? What was MCAT like? I've like, you done it. Yeah, I've done it before. Yeah, it was. It was yeah, weird one. It was just one of those. Real, it was just mad. It was a weird time. It was a very strange time. Like I was like 16, I think, when it come about. And I just one random geezer. Oh, I know his name as well. <laughs> I ain't going to chuck it out there. Stay with um, random geezer. Yeah. Stick with random Joe. geezer. <laughs> scaring him now. <laughs> Joe. Oh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was, it was Gay Pride in Brighton. One, yeah, one year. And he just went, bang, here, Frank, have a bit of that. Went, bosh. And it was just like, fucking hell. Like, the greatest feeling in the world. Like, I hadn't been on anything before that, really. And it just fucking blew me away. And, 
I was quite a depressed kid and that made me feel amazing. It's as simple as that. It made me feel amazing. This is where we get into debates yeah. interesting where like we talk about ketamine. Mm. Ketamine, LSD and psilocybin. There's a psilocybin. lot going on with that at the minute. The it? evidence sti- literally strongly yeah. sti- right? No matter where you go, you can even just type in PubMed, LSD and you'll see positive benefits to your off Willits. Yeah. Mate, I'll listen to That's right. later. <laughs> <laughs> Will it take it easy, well, mate? Nice to see and you've now got strong evidence uh, saying that you know ketamine is helps you with depression. Yeah. Right. So then people are like, oh, ketamine. That's disgusting. It's horse tranquilizer. You know, like uh, when uh, Joe Rogan took ivermectin, they're like it's a horse dewormer. You're like it's been given to humans billions of times. Yeah. So um, our oh, mate, here's a story for you. <laughs> Yeah, it's just we like, we like stories. We don't like science. You want stories. So a lot of people are going to try and slam me for talking about ketamine, but it's amazing. And in America, for over a year, it's been legal prescription to treat people with depression. So really? if people are going to slam me for drug use, they can slam me for abusing an antidepressant. There we go. That's a better angle, isn't it? I was in a club. I was in Ministry of Sound. Yeah. And um, me and a friend, uh, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> We, um, it was like a last minute thing. And like when I was in my early twenties, there was a period where I hated booze. I was like, booze is disgusting. And I, I, if I took a pill, I'd go out, I'd have a great night. I'd remember everything. I'd make meaningful connections with people. Yeah. I would also become much more empathetic to the group. I'd make sure people had drinks. I'd be like, someone would go off. I go, no, wait, we'll all go in a second. You know, like when I was like, wow, even my friend said to me, you're a better human being on MD than you are alcohol. So you've got the laws that govern the universe. Everyone's like, yeah, oh, yeah. you're a cunt when you drink. Like when you do MD, you're great. You're like, you're, you're caring. We've not seen this before. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we, we bought these uh, pills in ministry and they were shit. And um, I was like, I, I shared a, I was living in Maidenhead at the time. I shared a cabin with my mate. And um, I was there and I was like, I'm not vibing this. I was like, I'm going to go home. And my mate knew a guy and he had a bump. And I was like, oh, what was that? He goes, kept me and I go, no. Nah. That's why I draw the line. I'm not doing it. Yeah. But then I looked and I was like, I'm going home on my own at 1 a.m. I've just, I've, I've done everything to get myself to Ministry of Sound on a Saturday yeah. night. I was like, go on then. And like, you know, in Limitless, when everything just fucking comes together and the light becomes <laughs> yeah. brighter and the colours, I was like, how is this illegal? I was like, I can sink a bottle of whiskey and fall asleep in the street. That's yeah. legal. That's fine. Yeah. But this, I was like, wow. Yeah. And then I felt like the DJ was playing just for me. There, there were a few steps on the dance floor that weren't there in real life, which I thought <laughs> were. Yeah. And I literally had one of the best hours of my life. And I was like, oh, this is crazy. But um, so I was in Texas a couple of months ago. Yeah. And um, there was a Halloween party and there was like a big group of people. And I saw everyone was kind of like all over the place. So I literally went up to four tables. I was like, come over here, come over here, come over here, come over here. We all sat together. I was chatting to this girl. And uh, we somehow got into the topic of, psilocybin ketamine whatever mm. and she goes um I, I said oh is ketamine big here she goes yeah she goes uh, they treat it for depression i was like oh that's mad she goes do you want some <laughs> are you I, depressed james <laughs> <laughs> no but the thing yeah, is yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm an evidence-based practitioner i like to <laughs> yeah. she gets her handbag out i'm like this girl's about to get ketamine out in a in an establishment in texas yes. she pulls out a nasal spray prescription hey. on the prescription on the side of it so oh. in in america right now i swear to god if you go to the doctor uh-huh. and you say you're experiencing depression they prescribe you ketamine nasal spray so you could take this on a flight it's one a day what it's one a day Mental and the science Mental. shows that taking ketamine is treating and helping people with depression hey, i could have told people that years ago <laughs> 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 no, that's mind blowing. I genuinely had no idea. She goes that. into a festival. She goes to vain. I didn't believe her, so I googled it there. I'm like, she goes, do you want to have a hit? I was like, yes. Fucking right, it's legal. Do so what I, you want. I went um, loads. <laughs> I did a spray up each nose, and I was like, oh yeah, that's ketamine. Double shot. Yeah. <laughs> but imagine this. It gets worse. Go on. <laughs> um, and, and most people at the round table did it at this point, and um, <laughs> I went. I was changing levels at this Halloween party. And the elevator broke down. Oh no. So it's like a normal elevator. Um, it, I, I don't know what the limit was, but you know, when people are drunk, they're like, oh, come on, no, come in with us. People are like, yeah, is there yeah, enough yeah, room? They're yeah, like, come yeah. in. 14 of us in a small elevator. It goes down about a foot and just stops. Oh. I'm like, wow. 
And then at first I'm like, oh, this is funny. Ha <laughs> ha. And then about a minute in, it starts getting warm in there. There's no ventilation in this elevator. There's no fan. There's no whatever. I try and push a ceiling tile up. It doesn't move. <laughs> you know, like in, I tried like, to escape. I did everything yeah, I could. Mission Impossible. You know, like, all that shit. You know, Die Hard when he's stuck in pops <laughs> yeah. open the flap. I was like, there's no flap. So there's 14 of us. And just as my mind is getting to the point where I'm starting to have to really think about whether or not this is a bad situation, the ketamine hits. Bang. Sorry, I just can't yeah. make sense of what's going on. <laughs> I, like, I cannot, you know, like usually have a straight path of like cognitive ability. <laughs> yeah. I lost it. And I was just like, what's going on? And um, then someone was like, we need to call the fire department. Yeah. And the fire department came, opened us up. They got us out in about 20 minutes. They were there, broke open the doors, everything, let us out, everything. And um, they were like, yeah, you probably have 45 minutes before you start suffocating or passing out. Wow, it, started get, it started getting hot in there as well. What? You don't know that one, Ketamine. You just <laughs> yeah. don't know it. <laughs> in, my head, in my head, I was thinking other things like, pictures of the Milky Way aren't actually pictures. <laughs> Because, you know, in my head, I'm thinking on ketamine, like, we would have to travel 100,000 years, even at the speed of light, which we can't do, just take a picture of the Milky Way. Then I'm like, who's taking pictures of the Milky Way? <laughs> oh, that's oh, brutal, it does. to be fair. Uh, great timing. We're, We're about We're to welcome our guest and co-host, oh. Ferris Lamrebet. So, Ferris Lamrebet, if you want to make your way to microphone number three. You're going to come have a seat with us, yeah? Yeah, sorry I'm late. No, nah, you're okay, mate. Hello? So for oh, yeah. a little, little bit late to the, <clears throat> to the podcast. Yeah, time. sorry I'm late, guys. I was just, uh, mate, I went and sat at an Indian restaurant, solo, very nice, broke my fast. Want a date? How, uh, how is Ramadan going? Do you know what? It's going a bit better than last year. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, you were on the ropes last year. <laughs> you were on the ropes. Yeah, it's difficult, but... Um... Loving these boys. Mm. Oh, yeah. oh, I can't got you. Why was, why was last year bad? I don't know, I think... Just my nutrition. My nutrition's still shit, but I'm trying to eat more calories. Hydrate a little bit more. People are going to think we're recording this from the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not have far we, off. The road, <laughs> it's not far off. Uh, it sounds like we're there. Man, the, road, we, the road we live on is fucking... It's oh, is that what you was getting at? I thought you had a Bronx jump. Oh, <laughs> no. The hat. That's, that's, <laughs> that's what I thought you was getting home. at. Someone take that's him home. That's what I thought you was getting at. And then I've yes. heard that and I was like, oh, it sounds yes. like we're there. <laughs> Horrible. I've never, I've never experienced so many police cars go past. People revving the fuck out of their car. Let's not mention where we live in Bondi. But who the fuck decides to floor a C63 fucking dead. AMG down that road? Because you're in the room next to me. And yeah, you it's horrible. I'm down in that. I'm, but I don't, the there's no crime here though, is there? Apparently there is. No, there ain't, is there? <laughs> no, they're literally going to get cats out of trees. They're literally going to get cats out of trees. That's all they're doing. Bless them. Faster than this year. Better than last year. Yeah. Do you remember, you did it with me one year, didn't you? Mm. Did you? Yeah, well, where'd it go? Not the water. I lost weight. So you did half. I was yeah. nailing McDonald's tonight. Yeah, first time in years. <laughs> first time in years. Have yeah. you ever done it? Nah, no, no chance, mate. It was I mean, if, if any of you were going to convert an ear, be calm. Oh, you, 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 that mush, I like. Yeah, like one of those, like, tur- those white Turkish converts. Is it that, tough though? Is it tough every year? Uh, in Oz, it's easier just because I can eat at six pm. The UK can't oh, okay. eat till like quarter to nine. I mean, the hardest thing is just like mental concentration. So but, if you just get your nut down and just yeah. crack on with saying, mm. I personally, like, personally, I'll just be I, thinking I'm I love starving it. all the time. Nah, I love it when you're on Ramadan because I never have to actually sit here and watch you eat. <laughs> watching you eat, being here when <laughs> you're eating is the that. most painful experience I've ever been through in my life. <laughs> you reckon? Oh, it's horrible. What about Smith eats? Yeah, he's fine. He'll just I, nail a bowl of cereal. So <laughs> you are just. I, I inhale else. food. <laughs> like, you, you, you can't. You can't cook around Smiths. Like if we're doing like is a group he bang on it. As you're cooking, he eats. So by the time you serve it up, it's gone. Like seven yeah. brothers or something. Because yeah. I just like, <laughs> yeah. I've got an eating problem. I, I can also eat coke, like large amounts of food. And in, um, I'm on the Wall of Fame in Massive Wieners in uh, Melbourne, which oh. is a hot dog store. It's not for my penis size. It's distinctively <laughs> average, but it was a one meter hot dog. One meter hot dog in under five minutes, you go on the Wall of Fame. So no pinching, no folding, just straight up, raw dog in it, biting it. Raw dog in it. Wow. Raw <laughs> dog in it. Wow. Uh, three, did it in 346. Nice. Afterwards, she was like- You're great. well proud of that as well, isn't it? He's so- 346. Good. Oh, yeah, no, three minutes, fair, They were like, you're going to make five minutes. I was like, no, nah, I'm here to claim- How long is it? Uh, it's a meter. 
<clears throat> Fuck <clears throat> off. A meter. What? In three meters. And a meter rest. hot a dog. Meter yeah. So imagine That's this, it. right? Just hot dog. No light. No, no, no. Ketchup, no, no. mustard. <laughs> everything. <laughs> I'll, 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 ketchup, mustard. I'll show you. But you know Nathan and Felix? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Nathan, Felix, George, all these guys we knew. One of, they'd already been down there and done it. So I went there on my own to beat the boys. So I was like, right, I went so, in there so like electric. game mode. You know when you're slapping yourself in the face, <laughs> just trying to make sure that you, you perform. So there's the hot dog, right? Fuck off. That's a, no, that's that's a big that's, hot dog, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think I could do a foot long in, six, in three minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen you finish so, a meal. Oh, they give you another hot dog after. <laughs> no, no, no. They <laughs> take hot dog before. <laughs> They take, they take a photo of you and there's like, you see all the pictures on the wall behind is the wall of shame. So the wall of shame is full of people that couldn't do it in five minutes. So I know George, Felix and um, Nathan have been down there. So <clears throat> Nathan's first attempt was four minutes 50. So I was like, I've got a fucking game. Oh my, I've got you fucking absolutely game. annihilated nah, it. Yeah. Because he went back in the second tap, 3.45. Oh, he's done ya. So yeah. Nathan did On the same day or different day? He's actually different embarrassed days. you as well. He's done me by a second. <laughs> he's right off. So I've just gobbled down a one meat hot dog to lose to Felix by a second. <laughs> no, Nathan, so, Nathan for a second. I reckon, yeah, you, I reckon you would get on that. Nah, fuck no. Ma? No, I'm not a big eater, He crumbles yeah. under the pressure on anything. So then I went back, I went <laughs> to the UK. Yeah. <laughs> you seen your next factor. <laughs> wow. wow. Why did, really? why did yeah, your no, voice turn to shit? Wow. There's a, there's, <laughs> face uh, then bless you. there's a chick in the UK uh, called Leah and she's got 23 world records for eating. Right. What, in just what, massive amounts or she, quick? She's she done, she done food competitions with Eddie Hall where she left Eddie Hall. Yeah. Eddie Hall's like, I can't finish this. She's done it. Fuck off. And I'll show you. I, I did one with her. Um, she sounds yeah. right up my street. <laughs> <laughs> Joking. Um, Too token. So she has, she does one here. So. Oh, she's fucking gorgeous and all. <laughs> oh, Don't show oh. me that. Do not show me that. <laughs> pathetic <laughs> no, she's, um, she's nice she, lady. she's like hey do you want to do you want to come down to a food eating competition we're like yeah, yeah okay so me and Darren went along it's like a burger challenge and um, we're in so uh, we're in Shoreditch we go along to it mate I can eat fast <laughs> by the time I finish my burger she's done the burger the chips and a thick shake Fuck of ice off. cream mm. and so then I started watching online no man can beat this girl 23 world records <laughs> Leah Sh Shukiva, I believe it is, or I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it. Anyways, talking of raw dogging, oh god, oh, wow. do you have any stories from the X Factor house that from you're allowed? That are you allowed to share from with the us? house itself? No, <laughs> no, not that I can chuck it out there. I don't oh think. wow, what, what for legal reasons or you just? Well, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah oh, fair shall, I mean, go, shall I go get the cash? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I am well skinned. <laughs> I've got a couple of dodgy ones for me personally that I could of note chuck people under the bus yeah, yeah we know no, no, you'll know why this is a retaliation yeah. <laughs> um, you I can't before. wait to hear it yeah and, thank you and you can look at the camera right Ollie <laughs> hi darling it's been a while um, no well but to be fair, it's a long time coming. She, um, wait, whoa, whoa, God, what she? Who? Who are we talking about? Oh, feel, I, miss I, that? See, I still feel bad. She done me in bad, but I still feel bad. Right, basically, I won't say it just yet. But so after the first live show that I'd done, um, a couple of my mates and that were like, oh, Frank, like. So sorry, sorry. I'm, live show, that's after live show, Judges' yeah, house. Yeah, so after each and... live show, I got an apartment for my mates. Like they'd come and watch the show, oh, okay. and then we'd get an apartment in London and. Have it. And, um, <laughs> have it. <laughs> um, <laughs> couple of wings. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, there was this one particular t reality TV star, and I didn't know much about uh, the show Geordie Shaw had just been about for a little bit, right? So, it was the first season I hadn't watched it, I didn't have a clue what it was. But my mate Adam I was like, Frank, mate, there's this bird who's on this show who's gagging like she's bang up for it mate I'm reading all her tweets she's right up for it yeah. so I was just like I was like straight up like well if she's on telly <laughs> I'm all over it don't care <laughs> do not care what she looks like all over it and she, she's she's lovely yeah <laughs> um, no that's Polly? another one <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, so basically, he says that, and I'm like, oh, sweet as, well, what do I do? And he's like, tweet her, tweet her. She's tweeting about you all the time. So I tweet this girl. As I say, didn't know her from Adam, whatever, whatever show she's on. Julie Shaw obviously become what it become, but it was the first season, the first year I was doing that. And um, so we get her down. <laughs> get her down to the apartment with her mates <laughs> to you and all your mates brutal, in the brutal, right? but anyway we're all sitting in the kitchen not doing cocaine <laughs> and <laughs> what what we, we wasn't no, we I know you weren't we I know you weren't not you mate. Not you. No we way. weren't and um so <laughs> I remember it like girls come round if you have cocaine I, <laughs> I remember it like perfectly she's sitting the up piles. on the kitchen bench like this and she's like oh I can't do the Geordie accent. Please try. Please try. Oh, no, I'm going to do Birmingham. <laughs> Bab. <laughs> <laughs> right, so anyway, this Any lovely girl, and she's lovely, she's a sweetheart. Um, <laughs> so she's sitting there on the thing and she goes, oh, Frank, like, uh, I've just been talking to my manager and um, basically he's willing to give you 1,500 quid in cash, right, if we can have a photo outside, like getting off of each other. So I'm like, 1,500 quid. Are you winding me up? This is after week one on the X Factor. I ain't earned a penny, right? 1,500 pound was like fucking hell. Like mind blowing. Where do I, I was sign? Like, Are you Where do I sign? Right? He give me 11, right? So I was like, yeah, buzzing, 100%. Call it on now, live Go outside, this little ratty geezer turns up in a shitty little motor, all right? Turns up and he's like, right, here you go, I've only got 1100 I'll give you 400 in, in a cheque. The cheque bounced, <laughs> may I add. It didn't work. It was, I don't even know about cheques. It didn't work, right? Another story, whatever. So he's like, fast. He's like, yeah, go and stand over there. And he's literally just standing behind his car door taking photos of us. I'm just necking off of her, right? Necking off of her, like, against the wall in the middle of London, whatever. Think nothing of it. I'm just, wake up, I'm like, God, I've got loads of money. I'm rich. And I got to kiss right? a bird. And I got to kiss a bird who's on telly, apparently. <laughs> Unbelievable. I, that's all I did as well. I'm nothing else happened when I'm went upstairs. <laughs> Franco is, uh... <laughs> Here he is. Nothing else happened. <laughs> so, I'll go upstairs, whatever. The, yeah, there we go. That's the photo. <laughs> Who's the photo? <laughs> I know who that is. Yeah, you Does know that. Is that him or not? No. That's Holly, right. isn't it? You can say it's Holly. Yeah. She knows. Yeah, that's her. Yeah. I met Holly last year. She's a lovely, lovely girl, isn't she? She's a sweetheart. But, right, so. She's only worth 1100 so yeah. Apparently. Listen, right, so the next day I'm on Extra Factor. So it's all, it all are front pages, all that. So can you imagine? They give me 1500 quid. Imagine how much they got for that. Well, they, Are you they, they fucking only gave you 1100 quid, mate. About 1100. Like, do you know what I mean? Absolute stitch up, whatever. Don't care. So, yeah, right, this is what I'm saying. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Right, so it comes to the thing, done. right? So it's all over the papers. I'm like, oh my God, I've just clocked. I was so naive. I didn't know that these things happened, like with people paying for photos and all that. I had no idea. So then when it's everywhere, all over the papers and that, I'm like, you fucking sly little dogs. I'm sure I could have got more money. For that. <laughs> <laughs> right. So fucking on, good the, all. on the extra factor, Caroline, God rest her soul, and Ollie, Murs, bless him. Um, <laughs> I'll, just Ollie, yeah. I'll just pick that name sorry. up. So, yeah, my mate Ollie. Um, so they do this little piece. Yeah. You got it. right it up against the night. fence. It was that night. So they do this piece and it's like, extra, extra, read all about it. Frankie sure is naughty. And I was like, oh, drop me out. Do you know what I mean? So I knew at this point, I was like, they'd, they'd earned a bit of coin out of me and that's why they'd done it, whatever. I would, I'd actually fall in love with the girl. <laughs> I had no idea that that's, that's what they'd do. <laughs> um, Just a romanticist. Yeah, that's it, exactly. Um, so I was like, yeah, I fucking, I met her and I banged her. <laughs> See, was that? Live, live <laughs> on ITV, right? And I didn't think that was bad. I was like, they fucked me over, but you can't sit there and go, well, they done this, you done that. It just come out, whatever. So you I, said that live, live on, on telly. telly yeah. I met her and I <laughs> brutal, banged her. Brutal. So that's I know. where that headline came from. That headline, yeah. But the story was already <laughs> out there that they had put out there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. They tried to I'm, stitch I'm you I'm going to step in in your defence, right? Oh, 100%. Fresh, Freshers week at uni, right? If you don't go one a night... <laughs> 
<laughs> like, like at uni. What like, are you doing? Yeah. People, Why are you getting into great? Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not speaking on behalf of everyone that goes to uni. Oh, but if, okay. if someone wakes up and goes, I didn't fuck a stranger last night, they're like, wow, you must have been pissed. <laughs> right. Yeah. But you know, it gets worse, right? So about four years later, Holly, and I still to this day, I, I think she's great and I've always loved her. But four years later, she releases a fucking book. Right? She releases a book. And there's a whole fucking chapter on I met her and I banged her, right? Saying I was sitting with my mum and it fucking, it just come out of the blue and it really upset me and my family were all in shock. I was like, you fucking give me 1,500 quid, 1,100 pounds and the check bounce for that to happen, <laughs> for that to be in the paper. Are you winding me up? Bounced. Are oh. you winding me up? I'm still owed 400 quid, Holly. I know you're watching. <laughs> and I know you've got it at all. I know you've got it. Oh, she's <laughs> fucking smashed it, isn't she? Uh, in her defence, and not to speak on behalf of most people, I'm pretty yeah. sure she didn't write that. No, I know she <laughs> yeah. I know she, she didn't, didn't but she that. knew for a fact them photos would be on the front page. How do you feel day. about people with that millions of followers riding your coattails to sell books? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because you You'll well be need the sales to it. <laughs> <laughs> you well need them. And like, and, and yeah. again, people get so judgmental. Well, how old are you at this point? 18. 18. I turned 19 on Celebrity Big Brother. £1,100 yeah. is nearly two months salary. Mate, I was, oh, yeah. I, I couldn't believe it. I literally went upstairs and I had this cash and I was just like, can you fucking believe this to all my mates? Like, what is this? You know what's amazing? Can you imagine, like, if they hadn't... <laughs> If there was a gauntlet and they go, what are you willing to do for 1100 quid? Oh my good God. <laughs> Mate, honestly. You do worse. No, I'll just kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. But like, it's, it's not time to be joked about. Jack up Sherbet's blessing. Yeah. Here's a few taps. No, but like, it, and people go, oh my God, that's well out of order. Again, let's take, let's take a, a fucking thousand 18 year old men mm. from the UK, mm. booze on that out, and give 11. You got, hold on. You got reverse prostituted. 100%. They made you a male... And it hurt and it scarred me. They made you a male gigolo. And I'm worried about and it. And they scoured you for being a... 100%. Here we have Frankie Koza, survivor. <laughs> Victim. Victim. Isn't it? Victim. <laughs> do not do that. I'm joking. Yeah. Uh, well, but that is, not. It, and <laughs> Frank. It, it's a fucking fair point. Like, and again, they're like, oh my God, it's disgusting you'd say that. It happens like, That's all the what time. I mean. And that's what actually, I got so much grief for that. It's like, how can you say that about it? Even Ollie, little mug, meant to be my mate. He was like, you can't say that. No, you just can't say it on TV. I was like, well, hold on. Why is them pictures in the paper? I just wanted a drill. Yeah. Did that really throw your head out of whack though? When you were like going through all these different experiences? Well, that, that and people was... were like, because people, some people are there, they're saying, look, I'll give you 1100 quid if you do it. Like, do it, do this, do that, do X, do Y, do Z. And then other people are coming in as soon as that story comes out and they're going, what Man. are you doing? You can't do that. Like, shame. Well, like, so, that well, must have well, wrecked what, your what head. What do you do? Do you know what I mean? It was the same with, uh, right I was getting a, sort of right, so the X, they were giving me VIP here. I was going out partying, doing what I thought they wanted me to do, yeah? They made it quite obvious to me that they wanted me on the front of the papers the next day. So, obviously, I obliged. I loved it. <laughs> right? I loved it. But then it come to the live show and it would be the VT before you go out on stage and perform. It would be Gary Barlow going, well, I ain't seen him this week. Don't know where he is, what he's been up to. And they're filming me in a nightclub, right? And that's a part of the VT and they're going, he's just gone mad. He's just disappeared and he's partying all week. And I'm like, hold on, you're there with your fucking cameras. Yeah, you How told me to do this. are you watching this show that you can't see? And then I just get grief for it. And I'm like, well, I can't fucking win. Do you know what I mean? Who do I please? The producers? Or do I just act like a little bitch and <laughs> not do anything? And imagine if you'd, uh, imagine this. Imagine if you said no. They go, Frankie Kokoza offered 1,100 pounds <laughs> to make out with Holly from Geordie Shaw. And, and he declines. This is online bullying. And it's completely disgusting that an, a, a man would do this and make a woman feel so insecure. What do you think about this, Paris? <laughs> oh, mate, I, it's... It's baffling. Did you get booted out or what happened? Yeah, yeah, right. booted out. You've missed that bit because you're fucking late. Sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you blame Allah for that yeah. one. <laughs> you blame Allah for that one. Well, no. These dates are all right. Um, mate, they're good. You know, you only, um, you only get these when you fly uh, first class with uh, I, I Etihad. No, but yeah, I did. When you I fly business, you don't. I did. It's nine. You know, did yeah. you get some of these when yeah, you fly business? Dates. I got dates when I flew business. 
been there. He's done it. Talk about riding coattails. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what happened after that? Um? After what? Holly, she might be saying this. Glow up. Oh you know my that? god, mate! Like, yeah, she's trying and to honestly, forget. like when I met her, God bless her soul. Like I keep saying, she's lovely, but she's a different animal now. It's ridiculous, isn't it? And she's come back on the straight and narrow from a PR perspective. Yeah, um, she's like, I know that I'm. You went in on her, didn't you? Huh? Did you go in on her like previously? Not actually. Um, and oh, maybe a bit. But <laughs> <laughs> Who haven't you gone in? <laughs> There's a boom bob um, phase, wasn't there? There was a boom bob no, thing. She, she got a bit. Of, she got a bit of slack for that. As booty, actually. <laughs> and, um, but then she came back around and was like, she unblocked me and she was like, oh, you know, I've, I've been doing things wrong. I went on Charlotte Crosby's podcast. She's a sweetheart as well. That all because I guys I fucking adore guys. Yeah, he, blo- he blocked me. Oh, did he? Because uh, he, he got I hate he guys. got big into one. I think. <laughs> No, I love guys. Actually, I'm, I'm not legally allowed to mention the one he's into. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Gee, I, I love all that. Nah, because <laughs> legally so basically, allowed in that. Like, the, <laughs> if you if you express your honest personal opinion about something, that's fine. It's not defamatory. But in the early days, I didn't realise what was defamatory, and I got served pretty did hard. You know? Oh, when, did you really? What mm, bad? I nearly got sued by Louis Walsh. Shut I up. swear to God. That sounds like a story. Well, I say I nearly got sued. It was uh, his management talking to my management saying, we're going to fucking sue him. Take that down. This is quite bad. Not proud of it. It was, they were all rumours. Before I say it, it was all rumours. So basically he come out a long time after I was on the telly and that. And I think I said like, oh, if I saw someone called spit in his eye, I was just playing up. Just done that. I was very bitter. They're getting bitter. into like a mode, like to. I was very bitter after what happened. Do you know what I mean? There was a time where I was, yeah, bitter about it. Um, but so Louis Welsh came out and said, "Oh, Frankie, oh, he, someone brought my name up to him," and he was like, "Oh, he was a little fucker." So I just tweeted saying, "Louis Welsh calling me a little little fucker." Bit ironic <laughs> with his history with little boys. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, oh, oh, I know. Oh, no, to, be, to be to hold the point at at that time. That all rumours. That all rumours. Obviously, they're all rumours. But at that time, you had a big Twitter following. How many on yeah. Twitter? <laughs> I had I, at one point I had over a mil. Like, yeah, because I, I was a Twitter right. Instagram weren't really a thing. A Twitter thing. was the one that was blowing up, and I was quite good on there. <laughs> Things like that. But um, yeah, I got a couple of really scary emails saying, "Look, he's gonna take he's gonna take us for everything here." But then, unless so for like defamation for like proving you're like defaming someone's they character. were just rumours. Yeah, and like, he had never. I don't know whether he had, but they were rumours. But you're fucked about Twitter at the moment as well. Is like uh, you you if you tweet something about like vaccine misinformation, you get like mm. a warning. Yeah. Um, then there was Babylon B who posted something that said the man of the year is a woman or the woman of the year is a man. And it's because the, the woman of the year in America was a transgender uh, transition. I'm mm. too boozed to remember what you said. <laughs> that <laughs> might have been trans. Was it Caitlyn Jenner? No, 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 no. It was like someone actually like legitimately, I, I don't know. No. But either way. So for Miss Jenner. Caitlyn Jenner ain't legitimately. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> so for misgendering, yeah. for calling a man a woman or calling a woman a man, whichever it was, they had their account suspended for a week on Twitter. Right? Okay. One and a half million, no, millions of followers. The CEO came out and was like, this is fucking ridiculous. May I remind people. Fuck is that? You can, the pornography is completely permitted on Twitter. Do you know this? Yeah, it's Stephen Bear. My mate Stephen. Have you been on his Twitter recently? He's just smashing the life out of his birds, like constantly. <laughs> Oh what? my God, do you know Stephen Bear? Yeah, I know him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Swe- you know Stephen? Yeah, yeah. I've he, met him a get, few times. He's a sweetheart. Hey? Well, do you I don't mean know if I get on, on Like Twitter. shagging the shit out of his bird right, and just no, putting videos on, on it. I could be wrong, but hasn't <laughs> he just... insane. Hasn't what? he just been nicked for uh, hate porn? What do they call it? Like where you? Oh, I don't know. But it wouldn't surprise me. Like the shit that he's been putting up. On his official page. Oh my God, mate. Like, Really? Mate, so there's, um, there's well a powerlifter in Australia. <laughs> some of them are well good. There's, there's a power. <laughs> there's a powerlifter in his chance. There's a powerlifter in Sydney that like spaffs on his missus' face and puts it on Twitter. And it's, and it's sweet, mate. Them Steve, St- 
they, they were on there for ages. Like, ages. I'm not joking. Twitter's like, bad. Twitter's mate, bad. insane. You've had, uh, you've had another spat on uh, Twitter, haven't you? Yeah, so he, um, Stephen Bear, reality Hello. star, charged with voyeurism, sharing sexual images. So oh, shit. He was arrested in January at Heathrow after a trip to Dubai. So, in essence, like, what's really <gasps> fucking... I know what that was. That was Georgia. So he, no, <laughs> oh, fine, yeah, that's all right. That's no, all I'm sorry, he's George off Love Island. Do you watch Love Island? Your no. mate was on it. You, you definitely watch it. <laughs> I, not, I only watched this season. Oh, okay. Uh, that was George. I know exactly where it was. And he he come out. It's, it's not funny <laughs> in the slightest. He come out and was like, "Well, that ain't even you." And it was obviously quite clearly her performing oral sex on him. See, this is... That's the one. But I'm not talking about that with his girlfriend. So Him and his girlfriend at the minute are putting up videos where they're just absolutely going to town on each other. And it's fine. And it's that's fine on Twitter. It's fine. Like, the videos are fucked. Yeah, so, like, mate, and again, the video that we shared into our group, the 14-year-old kid who died because oh, he wasn't oh, strapped into wow. a fairground yeah, ride. Oh, I know. And horrific. you see a 14-year-old die from mm. fucking... Uh, not not being strapped in super. That's fine. Become a man or woman, suspended. But um, the revenge porn thing is savage because again with the cocaine thing, right? Mm. Everyone pretends that no one's filming their porn. That yeah. No one's making little videos yeah, yeah, with the yeah. misses. And again, a lot of people are. And I'm not saying it's okay, it's good or bad. I'm just saying the reality is people do tend to make sex tapes. And then the majority of relationships tend to fail. Mm. so then there's going to be a huge amount of intellectual property that is held between people in relationships where there's a trust barrier that's there yeah, yeah. and a lot of people breach that trust and it is heavily illegal like it cyberbullying is fucking bad revenge porn is fucking bad and you wouldn't wish anyone to do it but the the original point was that you know on twitter you can get away with anything apart from if you break politics you're fucked <laughs> but if you jizz on someone's face with consent that's bad <laughs> It's ridiculous. That's isn't it? When you say it's it like ridiculous. that, it's fucking mental, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, it is ridiculous. Oh, we're worried that the misgendering could But Twitter's people. dying now, no, right? Uh, yeah. Sure, I've, I've said that no? before, but I, I don't know. It's always a weapon. Well, I used to have a million followers now. I've only got 800,000. Explain that. <laughs> <laughs> Must be that crypto, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Probably because you do fuck all now. That's probably what it is, man. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. uh, actually, let's have a look at your, your most re recent tweets. Yeah, go on. Mate. Just, uh, I did allude to it earlier, but um, just whilst he's having a little Twitter search spat. up. Twitter yeah, spat. Twitter exactly spat. Do you want to talk, you want to talk about 825. 825, yeah, it used to be over a mil. You can listen to my brand new, no, you can listen to my band's new yeah, tune. Yeah, 2015, old. still yeah. got that pinned. 15. Yeah, that's how little I use it. I don't care. <laughs> let's have a I go. I just don't care. <laughs> You did uh, you did have a little go at music though, didn't you? After yeah, after it all, horrendous. There's not a single day that I don't wake up that I don't regret releasing really? them tune every day. Really? It killed. It ruins my day. Majority of days, hate it. Hate it so much. At the time, and were you, don't were you... wind me up, Cam, because you're a part of the fucking up. problem. Then no, you know you are. No, 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 she's she's got got a motorcycle. She's got a motorcycle. Yeah, you're a it's mug. A, it's a, oh, it's a joke. Yeah, it's, it's an that's absolute pathetic joke. and it's embarrassing. No, but uh, at the time, you obviously didn't think that. No, at the time, I was told I was going to be a pop star, Cam. Wasn't but I? this is what I mean. This comes from other people telling you. Yeah, Did you, you I was, didn't, I was you didn't very led a lot of the time, but I wasn't. I, I didn't have a clue what the fuck was going on. I needed to be told what, what to do. Do you know what I mean? I didn't know. You're still like that. What's, what's mad is like um, the age in which you Matt, experience success, money, fame, power, all of these things. So young. Like I didn't really experience anything until I was 27. And I'm so mm. grateful that mm. it was 10 years after when oh, you experienced mate. it. Yeah, yeah. I, I got to experience what normal life was like. And like, even when people go, oh, is it weird? Ask, people ask for a selfie. I'm like, yeah, because I've got 27 years experience of it not happening. You fucking had your driving license for a year. And um, then they say, yeah. you're allowed in clubs for like a few weeks. Probably about two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, no, I know what you're saying, yeah. Your brain doesn't fully uh, mature until you're like 25. No, nah, well, yeah. And even now, right? And I, I don't think about it often. <laughs> But like today, I was putting up fucking scaffold and pissing down rain, right? And I still don't really know how to do it. And there's people there that are younger than me that are banging it in fucking bus. They know exactly where the trannies go. With what? 
That's a thing. That is a thing. It's a thing. It's a scaffold in town in Australia. And I'm like, fuck's sake. Like all these, all my mates and that, they were becoming who they were going to be at 18. They was, they was out there fucking learning their trade or whatever it was. And obviously I'd much rather be doing what I was doing at that time. But still there's a part of me that it hurts. It's like fucking hell. Like now, now I'm just, Working for peanuts, doing shit that I should have been doing when I was seventeen. But the the same respect, like the grass is always greener. Like you've got, mm. it, it must be pretty cool to have a remarkable story. It's good until you go to the pub and someone looks at you twice, right? And this is how I feel about it. I'll be honest. I go to the boozer and I'm with all the boys, and I can see a group of boys on another table, and they're all like, "Do you know what I mean?" And you just know. You, you've definitely have that. I hang around with these cunts. Yeah. They think, that's James for PT. They don't look at you, my mates. You know what go, I mean. Can't you, you might. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, uh, it's you know weird, what I mean. Exactly yeah, yeah, and also, the weird thing, it's very narcissistic. <laughs> Someone clocks you, you go, they've just recognised me. Then you yeah. go, no, they haven't, you narcissistic it's fucking hell. And then you just and then, going back. Then they bang. go, Frankie goes and you go, I fucking knew it. And then, and then I'm just like, oh my God, this character, it don't matter what, how I feel, it doesn't matter what sort of day I'm having, whether I've just fucking, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'll be like, how are you, mate? Hey, Bosh. And it ain't healthy. I don't care what anyone says. It ain't healthy to just pretend to be happy. I do it every single time. It don't matter how depressed I am or how down I feel. If someone comes over and they're like, oh, mate, can I have a photo? I'm like, fucking what, mate? How are you? You all right? And it's... Fucking draining. But then again, I bet the reason that because it happens that, all the time as well. <laughs> <laughs> but, he's lying, by the way. He's lying. Obviously lying. But credit to that, right? So let's say you're not in a good mood. You've decided to take it upon yourself to drain yourself more, just not to ruin that interaction. Because on the same time, yeah. there are a lot of people that don't do what you're doing there, and I think it's quite almost commendable that you're going to go. I'm not in the mood, but. To this person, they might have had a stinking day. Yeah. They might yeah. have had a shit day, come round, they go, that's that fucking Frankie Cozer. And then they go, yeah, he's a sound cunt. And yeah, of course. Well, there's always that going to be that thing. And like I said earlier. You don't just, need any more bad press. You, no, well, you just <laughs> no, want you people just want to like lost. you. That's yeah, all yeah, we yeah, ever yeah, want. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Really, yeah. that's all we ever want. It doesn't matter what we believe in, whatever. We want to be liked. So when you've got the old fucking nation on your back or what it feels like the whole nation on your back giving you fucking grief it definitely takes its toll and it has taken its toll on me I know it has there's certain like characteristics that I've started to be like like put into place with stuff like that do you know what I mean like what do you, what do you mean by that like, I mean like so I don't want to leave the house without a couple of beers yeah do you know what I mean? I just yeah. don't. Well, I just, 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 don't. just in case you come on, just you in case that I sort see of someone yeah. and someone's a, a fucking bit of a wanker, and it's embarrassing. Well, it, you it, can't. It's not it's surely, it's surely, what it is. I don't know. I might be completely wrong yeah. on this. I just know you how I know you. But surely you don't come across that now, where people are like, "Ah, Frankie Cosa, you're not a in knob. Australia. Like, yeah. Everyone seems happier here. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? Fact. Yeah, everyone's happier here. Simple as. So, bit more sun, bit more wholesome. So even if they are thinking you're a bit of a knob. They're not fucking fuming about their week and they're like, oh, that fucking, that's that wanker. They're, everyone seems but to be all right. But do you think that that comes when people, when you, like you say, you're feeling a bit down, you're feeling a bit low, whatever, and someone comes up to you and you're like, oh, yeah, how are you, mate? Right. You put on that persona. Do you think that's because you've got that sort of image that you've created for yourself where you are like, I just want to be like that? Sort of. Yeah, well, yeah, 100%. I don't want them to go to their mates and be like, oh, fucking hell, he's in a well shit, mate. What a wanker. He's he a, a million, wanker. He used to have a million yeah. Twitter, Twitter followers. Yeah. 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 I know what he's fuming about. <laughs> <laughs> he's only got 800,000 now. <laughs> but I, I hate the way that there's a little bit of a culture now where people want to try and catch you out. And I saw uh, Jimmy Carr was on a train, public, like he yeah. wears nice suits, doesn't he? Yeah. He was on a, a nice train, or no, sorry, a nice suit, on an average train going home somewhere, I'm not even sure. And some kids got their phone out and they went around and went, oh, look, it's Alan Carr. Yeah. And he was like, it's Jimmy Carr. And he interacted with him, it was fine, whatever. And I was like, you little cunts. Yeah, they yeah. knew. You're, but, yeah. You're, you're just trying to upset someone you've never met before. You're never going to meet again just for a fucking moment of, what virality by putting it on TikTok? Yeah, yeah, because you assume it's going to be that person that you've yeah. fucking seen on the media. And I had a bird in Brisbane once who wouldn't let me out the men's toilets because she was trying to confront me. 
Right. So I come out and she's there. She's like, I think it's disgusting what you do. And I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> so I go to the other side and she's like, and she had like pink hair and like, I won't go on about. It. And she's like, you should be ashamed of yourself. And like, as I was, I was like, I hope you have a really nice night, whatever. I was like being really like nice or whatever. I'm trying to get past. She's not letting me pass. And like, it got to the point where I was like, wow, you, you're literally, you're probably here with your friends. Not many of them, but you're probably here with your friends. And this is what you, you've waited for me to come out of the toilet to antagonize me. Yeah. And this Tremendous. is, this is your world cup final. Yeah. Like, and it's crazy, but it's so hard when you live a good life to put yourselves in the shoes of people who the happiest part of their day is upsetting someone else's. Yeah. Right. So after the X factor, right. It's just an example of that shit. Oh, he does so, go on about the X factor. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. It's the only stories he's got, mate. Hey, Adam. Yeah. There's not a lot else. Um, <laughs> so you do all these PAs, right? Once you're, booted out, you go around all the clubs and you do the club scene and that. Like, I was going to these clubs, right, and I, I used to have two security geezers meet it, right? Every club I went to, and I shit you not, there was bottles, glasses, every night without fail. Tell me what that does to you as a fucking... I used to have my dad and my friends come. And, all right, we could shag whatever we wanted. Like, the, the fanny... Brilliant. I'm sorry, Fanny, lovely, wonderful ladies. I, no, no, listen, do you know no, what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. That, that side of it was fine, but the fucking geezers, mate, it's bottles, bang, like fucking dodging out of bottles. Like, I'm just there to say hello. What the like, fuck? Like you say, that's, mate, that, that, it went on for fucking like two years I was doing them circuits. It never stopped. But at that the time, that's, that's was, your job. Do you know, or that's your that's yeah, but what it you're my doing. Job to get fucking bottles. No, that's what I mean. Though. That's you're getting yeah. paid to turn up there. Exactly. And that's that's you're stupid getting. money as well. Like, but I've got my dad and that turn up. Like when I'm local to them or local to friends who ain't seen in age. Like fucking, I've got the PA down there. Come down, and these they have to stand there and watch me get fucking abused. And you can't be yourself because they're and again, that's not one true. night no, you get hit with fat. a bottle, you go. I'm a chin this guy. And yeah. And, and but this is the thing, right? And I did ball. every <laughs> time. <laughs> this, is, this is one thing I hate, right? Sometimes say there's an altercation, you're like, I really want to punch this person. And if it goes south and he beats the fuck out of me, I break my hand or I get decked yeah. by his mates, so be it. But I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm chinning him. Yeah. And like, but you can't do that when you're Frankie. Not Koza a chance. Because if you do that, it's not just about a man who's pissed off getting bottled. Nah. It's, and that's what I mean. But no Frankie one even knows that. Being that bad you know what I mean? That's, that's yeah. the thing. Like, and then it was just so many examples. Like, there was this uh, lady right just after it all happened, and that lady walking up the streets in Brighton, and she's got uh, a little a toddler in one hand, and she's pushing a pram with the other hand. And she just turns around to me. She's like, "Oh, Frankie, you you got any gear? You got any gear?" And I'm just fucking like, "Oh my god!" If it wasn't for me, <laughs> right, doing what I did, them little kids, like, honestly, it was just fucking horrendous. Some of the shit was like, it was just, it just felt sinister and horrible and dark. Did very you, quick. Did you get a lot of anxiety from the girls you slept with? Um, only when they said you better go check yourself out. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You're, you're no missing, honestly, the, I think the your way... Your now must be very understanding, right? Yeah. Have you, did you, um, we'll get back to that point, but from what, the way you, you hold yourself now, I think that you must have found a woman that completely accepts you for who you are. Yeah, like... Because the way you're speaking now, knowing yeah, that you have a yeah, yeah. I'm thinking... Like they, they know, is, there's cool. no hiding from it, James. There's no hiding and, from and it. And I commend the fact that you're able to be yourself. 100%. And I think that some people might disagree. I think this goes to show the caliber of women that you've settled with. Mm. So I've, I've never met her. <laughs> but like, I think it's awesome that you come on here and you're not like, oh, fuck, I best not say nah, that. No, nah, no, like, it is what it is. There's no, there's, we have no right to be forgotten. If you just all of a sudden didn't want to be James, James Smith. You've got no chance. You are what you are now forever, unfortunately. We've, obviously not unfortunately, but if you didn't want that, it would be unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, you can't Do you know what it. I mean? It's, I have no right to be forgotten. There's it's, it's no ir right. It's there. It's done. Do you know what I mean? It's simple as that. So I can either fucking curl up in a little ball and pretend it didn't happen. And that's going to not that ain't healthy, is it? Do you know what I mean? Or just accept it, try my very best to move on and be a good dad. There's one thing about uh, sleeping with a lot of people is that you are giving people the keys to really unlock a door of 
fucking bad shit. Like, yeah. and, and this isn't to insinuate that when men sleep with women, that women are going to tell stories. Yeah, yeah. But again, the numbers game that we spoke about before, you sleep with a hundred women. Let's say that, you know, one, one out of a hundred, one, just a hundred at a time. Let's say one out of a hundred, let's say one out of a hundred has bad intentions. You're going to get fucked over by four women in a year. Yeah. And like how stats. Yeah. They're, yeah. Unbelievable <laughs> stats. Yeah. Like record numbers. Yeah. That. Well, like, you know, they say the pill, the contraceptive pill is uh, 99% effective. If you fuck your missus every day, that's three days a year. That she's, it doesn't work. Yeah. That's, that's pretty mad. So but, you think about that. Like, but so I'm saying let's, I'm not trying to paint women in a misogynistic light saying they've got bad intentions, <laughs> but so one of my, but you have, one of the, <laughs> No, I'm joking. I don't care. So I, I, I wake up one morning, my manager's messaged me. He goes, don't worry, legal answer this. Basically overnight, someone has screenshotted a Facebook group, one of my ex-girlfriends from years ago, who in a closed community of 20 women has asked the other women who are single, uh, not single mothers, their mothers, mm. whether or not it'd be a good idea to make up a story and sell it to the tabloids to do with me to make money. And she said, I'll give the money to my son's savings account. Oh. One of those mothers straight away sent that to me because she was like, that's fucking bullshit. Mm. We had to prepare up a legal response for when that went to the papers. But we couldn't tell her or contact her or say anything. And I was like, that was my fucking girlfriend. Someone oh, I took my home to my parents. God. I took her to the fucking polo. <laughs> like, mate. <laughs> You are so posh. Oh, and now I took her to the I polo. To the polo. My, my we take her to the pub. You take her to the polo. My sister works in polo, isn't it? So like, I was, I was like, you're doing that. I was like, fuck. I took like, her to the mosque. Alaikum <laughs> 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 salam. Um, so like, with you, with you being in the limelight, I bet there were a lot of people that, was there a lot of kiss and tells? Nah, there was a lot of, fuck, I can't believe I've done that. They didn't want people to know. That's how I felt. But I genuinely now, I was quite bad. Like, I went straight from Malia, and the whole goal in Malia between the boys and that was, it was, num it was a numbers game. Simple as that. It wasn't quality. No, fuck no. Are <laughs> like, you joking? It was just pure numbers, and I took that into the... The real world. Into, well, the real world. <laughs> X Factor world. <laughs> ITV world. I took that into that and I was quite bad. And it, oh, it sounds horrible because I'm still a boy. I'm still fucking, do you know what I mean? One of them. You're not even 30 yet. No, I'm not. No. Nah. How old are you? 29. <laughs> Very close. <laughs> Scary. On the door, mate. But I, on the it door. does, honestly, I, and this sounds so cliche and so horrible. I, I pray, and I'm not even religious. No offence. <laughs> but... <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> but I pray, I genuinely do. I would hate for my little Frankie to act the way I act. I genuinely would as well. And I know you're going to give me grief about that. Yeah, I was going to say. No, I'm being deadly serious. I, I, I was pretty bad. But the, the thing is, I can, I can put my hand up and say the exact same. Like, I've... I've really behaved in bad ways. Just numbers. It literally was like, Mate, it didn't matter I, whether... Hold on. I remember... Being on site, because that's how obviously how we met. And I was be careful here, Cam. Yeah, I'll ruin giving... you. No way. You ain't you ain't yeah, got nothing no, on I, me. I, not not go on to what I got on you, oh, son. God. No way. Wow. I remember giving Frank loads of shit. Loads of shit. We're going back and forth, to be fair. We're having a little bit of banter on site. Yeah. For it turned <laughs> violent. Yeah. <laughs> Before he done me in. Yeah. And uh <laughs> I say to him, oh, look at you. You're fucking, look what you've become, mate. X Factor, and now you're working on site. And he just goes to me, Cam. Google Frankie Kakoza newspaper. <laughs> and he no, looks at me, he's no. so serious as well. He's dead no. set. He just goes, Google no. Frankie Kakoza newspaper. No, can. I, and I do straight away. I'm up a ladder and I do it straight away. I Google it. You and I'm having that. a look through and I'm like, oh no. Comes up, I have a look at I would photo, hate my son there. to be how Honestly, I turned out. He's there, right? Paparazzi shot, him, skinny jeans, oh. and I'm talking skinny. You can Where see it all. Halfway down his ass, pack of Mayfair hanging out. <laughs> he's got a barnet, he's got a barnet, barnet How like Amy Winehouse. So vividly. Because <laughs> oh, you've done that. How do you he's got really? a barnet, he's got a barnet like Amy Winehouse. Oh, fuck and it's the front no. cover of a newspaper. He's just looking at the pap, smiling. Five girls and it goes, a night. Frankie Kikosa, oh. five girls, one night. I'm like, <laughs> fuck oh, it. Oh, wow. That was what it was. <laughs> I am what I am. Fuck it. Don't care. Um, <laughs> not, not to drop you into it, was it five in one go? That was bollocks they saw me walking home with five birds I've never ever done more than seven 
<laughs> Ever. Was it, was it five? No. You Not that got, night. You ain't got five in the locker. I ain't. Like, I struggled to but, one. Uh, yeah. But now, like you say, that was a diff- that was a different fella. No, it's like, not that. No, no it's not that. 18, I am then. what. No, I am what I am. But I genuinely, genuinely do hope that the Bubba has a bit more respect than I did. But, back the, then. but then again, you're, ba- you're battle hardened from this because again, I'm I can't wait to be a dad. Like, yeah. and I think it's great that you've done it before you're thirty as well. Mm. Great age. Well, great age. I'll be 44 when he's 18. <laughs> still out. <laughs> still Daddy's got it. Still got it. No, Daddy's back. Well, like, I can't wait to sit with my kids and be like, I've, I've made every mistake you could ever make. And, yeah. and like, not to say from a place of ignorance, I'll go, yeah. I, and I'll, I want to make sure that, I think my parenting style will be like, do what you need to do, but just be honest with me. And then, you know, if my son comes home and goes, dad, I did coke last night. I'm not going to be like, oh, you can't. I'll be like, no. Nah. What do you think? Do you think this is good for you? Yeah. 100% that has to be the best way. That has to be the best way to attack it. And then they Surely. come back and they go, Dad. Educate them from your do experience. I mean? Dad, like, I what are you going to do? Two questions. Are you depressed? <laughs> <laughs> Two? Good, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I, I, I feel like if you're just like, nah, bollocks, no, no, we're all the same. As soon as someone tells you no, yeah, you, tell me. you want it. Yeah. Like, but to turn that to you, from your perspective, you've obviously... You've obviously never drunk, never taken drugs, would never on all that sort of stuff. No, nah, but it's it's on Frank's point about like it's because my old dear was so open about her nice. history. Yeah, yeah. Was like, my yeah. old man was like so religious. He's, he he made out like he was like an angel, and I wanted to explore. Whereas like my old dear was like, don't do yeah. coke, it'll ruin your pocket. Yeah. So yeah, that was yeah, like yeah, yeah. okay. So then I started to see it for myself. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But but like that gives, that gives you a better perspective, isn't it? You yeah. take sort of their. Education, they're, they're very... Rambling. <laughs> so, yeah, we're basically like, yeah. so, no, so, no, so, yeah. we're the podcast. Welcome to the Sam King podcast. Uh, Swipe up the tables. So, yeah. We are talking religious <laughs> morals with Ferris Hammer Better and Franklin Kazan. <laughs> What's he like on site? Is he a cunt? What, a cat? Yeah. Nah, he's all right. We, but yeah, no, I loved camping. I'm oh. gagging for him to come back. Of course, that's what they all say. <laughs> no, he's all right. He, yeah. No, honestly, he's shit his job, but... I'm a good gaffer. I'm a good gaffer. <laughs> he's good for morale. <laughs> it's good for really hurting your feelings constantly. So there was a mate I went to school with. Uh, his name was John, actually. And I called him out once for uh, not washing his hands after he pissed. <laughs> he turns to me and he goes, it's my dick. <laughs> <laughs> That question it's it. Should point. you should you wash your hands before you touch your dick or afterwards? I sometimes do a bit of both. Depends. On I say afterwards because oh, you're gonna. Before. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I don't, I don't, not a lot of people do it, but the theory behind it is that you've got more bacteria on your hands before you touch your dick. Because yeah, your you, dick's in your boxes. <laughs> How one. many places have you put your dick? Yeah. <laughs> like, not that many. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Um, no, I was talking like an average day, though. Yeah. Urine. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. Urine is not sterile either. It contains bacteria that renders it a non-sterile substance. You know, some people are like, ah, oh, it's sterile. No. Yeah, no Just way. Google it. No uh, but yeah, you got a Sarhouse membership, you must. No, never in a million years would they let me know. He's not got a tea gardens membership. <laughs> He's like <open> me. <laughs> tea gardens is a great spot in Australia for those who don't know. But again, the- <laughs> all these establishments you go to, people's noses are starving in them. Yeah. Mate. Oh, yeah. mate. Mate, I, John, everyone. It's, it's, it's great. Like, it's I, insane. You, you go to- I've sniffed cocaine with people, right, that... Oh, fucking hell, I'm forgetting You've done yourself. You've done yourself already, that mate. You, you might as well go would- all in. Never in a million years. Ne- no, never. You just wouldn't in a million years believe it. And I'm an 18-year-old kid and that doing it with him. Like, you just have... It's insane. No one gives a fuck. And uh, the celebrity circles are quite tight, aren't they? Because mm. all celebrities got the same thing to lose. So mm. they all kind of get up to the same things behind closed doors. They just tighten the doors that surround them. But it's very, it's insane. Like the, as soon as it goes pear shaped for one of them, right? They're just gone. Do you know what I, like, mate, like, Drop like a these habit. people don't knock about with people who are going to affect their life. Do you know what I mean? Who are going to affect their fame or their PR status. Sta- yeah, mate. Like it's so cutthroat. It's mental. I can imagine that, like anyone gets a little bit of a sniff oh of bad press. Oh my God, like, mate. Yeah, like gone. Like it's pretty intense shit like that. Who, who got, I'm just trying to think of someone recently, not the one we know, but someone else. But like the second they do it, I you want to know like, the one you know. 
I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tease us like that, James. There's people listening. <laughs> I'll tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> Have you thought about starting your own Here podcast? Here we go. <laughs> yeah, he's done there. He has done you there. <laughs> I'll tell you after. <laughs> no, you you must, those, uh, those lines yeah. I had. <laughs> you, I was going to say, you must have knocked around with some, some big stars. Who's the most famous person? Robbie. Got? Robbie, without doubt. <laughs> Robbie Williams. My mate Rob, yeah. Okay, is he in your WhatsApp? Phone list. No, no, but okay. Who's before I, we go back to Robbie? Who, if you would say, who's the most famous person I've got in my phone book? In my phone book now, yeah. But this is what I mean. We're they talking, don't have to answer, don't worry. No, I ain't gonna ring them. <laughs> <laughs> Joking. I will. <laughs> right, hold on. Let me have a look. No, see, oh, oh, this is phones and phones and phones later. Do you know what I mean? Oh. He's yeah, you've got friend. a couple of names I can see no, on I've your face already. No, see, She's look, my cycle. S, look, like, so S, quite a popular letter, innit? <laughs> is it? Is he for real? Uh, quite S a popular quite letter. Me. Well, it is. Do you know what I mean? I'm telling you, this is how many S's I've got. This is how unindated un my uh, fucking phone book is. I actually, there's loads of S's. I shouldn't have that one. No, I've only got like 12 S's. Do you know what I mean? Like, they're all gone. But no, we're not asking for everyone who's in your phone contact. We're asking yeah, for the most saying, no, famous person. I ain't person. really got any. Rob, Robbie Williams, let's go. Is he Robbie a good guy? Williams. Oh, mate. The bollocks. I can't even explain to you how good that geezer is. And there's there'll be loads of people that, similar situation to what I was in, that would tell you exactly the same. So... He how did you amazing. meet him? You met him Judges Houses. Though. Yeah, Judges Houses. We went to LA. So they actually pop up around their houses? Listen. Yeah, but the judge's house was... Listen, the judge's house was rented. It was a rented house. Like The one that was on show was a rented house. They say it's Robbie's. You're going around Robbie's, but it weren't. It was a rented house in You'd the You'd be hills. mad to let someone around you. Yeah, right. So, but, so we're all chewing his ear off after, and he's just writing amongst it with us after we finished filming. He's great, great bloke. Really warm. Diamond. And he goes, right, boys, you're all coming around mine. When we finish filming, you're all coming around mine. We're all like, what? You know, like, he lives next door to Slash and Charlie Sheen. <laughs> so <sick. laughs> like, he's telling us stories about Charlie Sheen just driving his car off fucking cliffs. Like, honestly, it was insane, right? So it, we was like buzzing. Oh my God. Then the producers come over and they're like, Robbie, like, they can't really. We've got to leave early in the morning. Like, they can't really do that. And he's like, well, you ain't put me on the TV show then. And they're like, Please don't be like this, Robbie. Please don't do this to us. And he's like, they're coming round. I've told him now. He's like, I've told him they're coming round to my house. They're coming round. So we go round there. First thing we do, we walk in. He had like eight dogs, right? There's loads of dogs. Dogs everywhere. Walk in. Walk into his, uh, it was like a dining area, the first room you walk into. And there was just shit on the floor, right? One of the dogs has done a pony. <laughs> <laughs> sit on the floor and he goes oh sorry about that boys and just boots it under the table just boots this dog shit straight under the table yeah, I, like, oh, I love up, you it? so much you're the best we're sitting in his back garden which has got a water slide in it a water slide just looking up at the stars in LA drinking wine it was he was amazing and when I said like oh fucking hopefully I'll see you again soon he's like I'll be sitting you again soon. So I was like, oh, I'm through. <laughs> Definitely through. Did you see him again? He was the best. No, I didn't. <laughs> Got chucked off before it was his week to perform. <laughs> but, but, Smithy, oi, but, but, listen to this then, right? Is he following on Twitter? No, listen to this, right? So I, I then go and do Big Brother and that, whatever, whatever happens after. So I'm sitting there with Kirk Norcross, absolute diamond as well. Sitting at his house and the girl who Kirk's with at the time, like I get an unknown unknown number call. And I'm like, right, yeah, fuck that. You answer that. I don't don't need to be dealing with that. It's done a fat <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm not that bad. Right. So she answers the phone. And she's just like, that. she's like, oh my God. And I'm like, who the fuck is it? She goes, Pass it. It was fucking Robbie. Just ringing to say, mate, I thought you fucking done really well on that. We loved watching you. Like, absolute fucking sweetheart. And no need to do that. I love the cunt. I think he's brilliant. Great bloke. Where not is it? Not friends now, though. 
No, he hates me now. <laughs> he hates me now. I ain't, I ain't had a bar off him since. Does he actually hate you? Nah. Let's have a look. I, I can't even remember what he looks like recently. Fuck off. Because nothing. Williams. No, no. But he's, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, but the best thing. So, like, you, you Google anyone, right? That you haven't heard of in a long time. And then you go down, it's got their Wikipedia, then it's got the famous questions. Then it's going to have news about them. Do you know, Nicolas Cage fell off a cliff, didn't he? Fuck did he? Oh, sorry, what? So Nicolas Cage, I was like... To be oh. fair, I forgot Nicolas Cage after he did that film called Jiu-Jitsu. Yeah, so you got that. Then you would Snake Eyes. Knowing. But then you think about Con Air. I watched oh. The Rock the other day. Oh, oh, God, 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 in 60 seconds. seconds. Gone in 60 seconds. Yeah. And, then, and then I'm thinking to myself, he is, no offence, Nicolas Cage, obviously listening. <laughs> Jeez. From a genetic standpoint, not the strongest. His his hairline, like you got a fantastic hairline, by the way. Me- so much. <laughs> <laughs> but like, like uh, you forget the times that like there was actually people balding in lead roles of films. Bruce Willis in Die Hard. Oh, like, Bruce is he's retired recently. Yeah, isn't he? He's got uh, speech, Demen- what is dementia. It? Is it dementia? I thought it was speech he? impediment. Yeah, he's like... <laughs> it's terrible. I think it's like uh, dementia or, or something similar. So I'll, I'll Google people just to see like where they're at. And then Nicolas Cage, I went down a rabbit hole of looking at him. He's got gambling problems. Oh, he's taking any right. film to get money to pay off his gambling debt. And what? Tax debt. And like, have you seen what he looks like? So Robbie Williams, I was like, there'll be something a couple of days old. Uh, concert touring company sues Australian Grand Prix Corporation over cancelled Robbie Williams. There's gossip wherever you go. Wherever you go, Grand Prix Corp sued for $8 million over cancelled yeah. Robbie Williams' concert. People will do anything for a story, won't they? He, he was a boy, though, I'm telling you. Absolute boy. You know, when you just know when you're talking to someone. They have that glimmer. You're in talking their to eyes. Robbie Williams, you're talking to a fucking. He was an icon. You must, really? have, made, you must have made a few of those mates doing uh, Celebrity Big Brother as well, though, right? Uh, Surely. That would have been a. Who were you? Michael remember? Madsen must... was the one. You know, uh, Reservoir Dogs, you'd know him. Michael Madsen. He was the one, mate. Oh, he the one with the voice. Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah, oh yeah. my I'm God, the, voice, the yeah. coolest cat I've was ever he, come he's across. A he's a boy, he? Yeah, he's a boy. Yeah, he was with me. Kill he, Bill. Mate, yeah. yes. Kill you know, he's Bill. Bill. Kill he's Bill. Bill, isn't he? No, he's not. Yes, he is. No, he ain't. Yes, he fucking is. I'm pretty sure he's not. Oh, say, he's type in who's he's killed the Bill. In the, in the caravan. <laughs> you, no, David, David Carradine is uh, Bill. He's Bud. Who's David Thank Carradine? The geezer that's Bill. <laughs> not your is mate. <laughs> Clearly oh, not your Michael. mate. Michael. <laughs> yeah. Mike, my mate, Mike. Uh, yeah, we got on for the three weeks that I was in there. He was a diamond. Who, you else? Who else are you in with? Um, there were some big names, surely, no, around that time. It wasn't mental. It was like... Denise Welch, she won. She just, I love Who won her it? as well. Denise Welch, loose women. Yeah, oh, wow. she, she had all the ITV voters, didn't she? <laughs> <laughs> I was robbed. It was Channel Four. I was robbed. It weren't yeah. Channel Five at this point. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh wow. We had, wow! We had, we had, yeah, we had no. Wow. Uh, what's her name? Fuck. Denise. Uh, Denise uh, no, no, no Daniel. McCall. Fuck. Oh, Davina McCall. Yeah. Davina. Fucking Davina. So Carol Carl Vorderman follows me now. No. Yeah, I put her on guest list for a Cardiff event. No. Oh, she, went, she joined the academy for a bit. Talking of guest list, about this uh, opera house. Yeah. 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 That's unreal. <laughs> Carl Vorderman, yeah. Jeez, mate, I'll do Valerie. Carl Vorderman's in the DMs. <laughs> <laughs> What's you say? I'll do Valerie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, imagine this. We say, buy your ticket to Sydney Opera House and you're in for a chance to come back and experience Valerie. No phones. <laughs> Yeah, Carl Vorderman. Yeah, she's a That's icon as well. Yeah, isn't she? Yeah, I take cats. Or have I got that wrong? Uh, no, no, it was Countdown. Countdown. No, countdown. countdown. She's, she's a smart mathematician. No, genius, yeah. yeah. They don't have to yeah. be a <laughs> Genius. Smart no, ass genius. Eight out, ten, eight out of ten cats is Countdown. Yeah, so she would be on it. Yeah, he's the same yeah. thing, isn't it? No, yeah, she's it a legend. No, it ain't. No, don't give what? him that. Don't yeah, try to be nice to him. I don't know I don't know if Carl Vorderman was on the eight out of ten cats. Oh, I'm thinking of someone different. Yeah. Some cougar. Yeah. She's a salt, though. Yeah, they, they want, um, yeah. So who, who's presenting uh, Big Brother and you're on it if you went to Vina? I had Brian. I had the winner of one of the other ones. Brian. What? Brian, yeah. He won, I think he won the first Big Brother. That's horrible. You yeah. are a shit. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it weren't the best, but... <laughs> what, was the, what was the money like if you won? I well, No, you didn't get paid for winning. You just got a fixed rate. So I got 100 grand. Jeez, that's all right. It was the least out of everyone. <laughs> Fuck off, was it? Yeah, it was the smallest out of everyone who went in there. And you know what really fucking winds me up as well is whenever they do these generic stories, oh, what are they doing now? 
what are these people doing now? Which every every year it seems. <laughs> they like, they always say thirty grand, and I've told all my mates I got hundred grand. <laughs> <laughs> so then they're seeing this story pop up, and he's like, oh yeah, he got a reported thirty grand. I'm like, no, I didn't. This I got hundred. <laughs> That's a lot of money. I walked eh? away with eighty because management take twenty. As I'm sure yeah, yeah. you're aware. Yeah. Yeah, how much you got left? <clears throat> <laughs> He's put it away into a savings account yeah, that's of shit. life advice. That's shit. There's this thing called Bitcoin. I don't know if you've heard of it. <laughs> I've seen Lewis Capaldi where he's like, uh, he's like, so did it? He's like, hold on. Have you seen this Lewis Capaldi net worth? The net worth, yeah. yeah. He's like, well, I'd like to fucking see it. Or exactly. like, 10 million. He's like, I haven't if got it. If the tax man's listening, I've not got it. I've not got it. <laughs> <laughs> you know that impression. <laughs> some, some people. Have you got Scottish going. roots? <laughs> there's nothing nice about me, but. Uh, you don't look Scottish in the slice. <laughs> yeah. I've got a day off in Cincinnati and I thought for a laugh um, I'd, I'd kind of go I'd Google I'd Google what's, what's my net Lewis yeah. Capaldi net worth Google it and just see what the internet says right and I thought alright I'll come along how do we look here and it says Lewis according to latest reports of Forbes and Wikipedia Lewis Capaldi's estimated net worth is 10 million dollars <laughs> I've got less than £200 in my bank account right now. <laughs> so who the fuck's got my 10 million? He's unbelievable. Me, I'm about in the same clothes I've worn for the last six months and there's 10 fucking million quid sitting about somewhere. Where the fuck is it? <laughs> Still living my mom and fucking dad and you mean to tell me there's someone kicking about with fucking... I've had the same bedroom since I was 12 years old and you mean to tell me there's 10 million pounds in it? I've got fucking New York wallpaper. I want to know who the fuck has put this, this false information out there. If the fucking, you can't oh. put stuff like that on. Oh. If the tax man sees that, I'm fucked. <laughs> I just want to make that clear. That, that, that's nonsense. Uh, and if the tax man's watching, uh, I'm not, <coughs> listen, I'm not trying, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to dodge to any, uh, listen, I pay, I pay what I need, I pay what I had to earn. Although, Next time. Cheers. <laughs> oh, and we're back. Right. There would have been a little glitch in the editing from there where a camera ran out of battery, but we have a fresh battery on you now. Fresh batch. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cringe. <laughs> <laughs> no, you still got it. Fresh <laughs> still got it. <laughs> I love that. That was, that was so quick. <laughs> we got cameras in the bathrooms. Bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so to be fair, didn't you get it out on Big Brother? Did you get yeah, I did it and it looks fucking monstrous. <laughs> no, it does and it ain't like that. It ain't. My Corey, I was under the thingy, like... I was talking having... about cocaine use. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, fair play. Great, Corey. Fair play. I, I sort of got you. I got you and then he, he threw me. <laughs> he threw me. Sorry, I'll forget that. I yeah, no. Nah. I don't do that anymore, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you got your cock out on Big Brother? I did, yeah. Quite embarrassing. Go on then. Come on. Well, I, I, no, like... What were you doing with it? Yeah, hold on. How did you get your cock out? Why did you get your cock out? Well, it was quite boring in there. Like in the big row. It was, it was boring. You had to really sort of entertain yourselves at times. And we was in there with two Playboy bunnies. We was just a, a bunch of kids, really. I was the only kid... <laughs> We was a bunch of kids and you had to entertain yourself and yeah, I got starkers, I slipped over, completely stark naked. Did you get boozed in there? Yeah, like, a, they sort of, it's so weird because you, you don't drink for like the first like four days or whatever. Like, as soon as you get a bit, you're so buzzing, everyone's so excited. You don't even drink four that much. Four days a long time. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it I've is, been there. Man, been it's there. massive. But, Everyone gets so excited. It just all goes nuts. Everyone just fucking loses their shit. Do you know what I mean? Like, we we was running up to the mirrors. <laughs> like obviously, all the mirrors, you can't see... F- well, the mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> can't see anything behind you, just see yourself. But if you go well close to them, like that, and run up, you can see the people with the cameras, and they're, like, running away and scarping away. So that was a, that was a game that we used to play. <laughs> That was a game that we used to play, me and Kirk. You just sprint up to the mirror as quick as you can. It's just entertaining yourself. Like, Is it weird not being connected to the outside world, not having like... It was the best thing. I loved it. Loved it. Just got so shit loads of money to live in a beautiful house with a hot tub, swimming pool, 
Playboy with a bunch of people that I've seen on TV for years. For so me, it Big was Brother amazing. was better for you than amazing. X-Factor. And I went into Big Brother as well, like with the most crucifying fucking booze. Like bad, like the crowd was like, boo, boo. But why? Because of all the X Factor shit, mate. I was, like, it what, was bad. If we were to look at it objectively, what you'd actually done wrong? I had a line of gear. Simple as that. Someone said that you had a line uh, of gear. So, yeah. And it, honestly, the fucking public, it, oh, like obviously there was a lot of love. There was a lot it of held people. held in a worse regard than Pablo Escobar. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It was fucked. It's like fucking hell. 18 years old. Like, let me do a line. Eight, and, yeah. And, I mean, you know what I mean? I'm, I have to grow up. 18 like, is when you're supposed to be dumb. You're not supposed to have access you know to millions I mean? of people. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, the, like when I went into Big Brother, I was thinking, oh, I've made a mistake here. As soon as you walk out onto the thing, it was boo, bad. Like, How was bad. The I was like, that? fucking all here. Did you, did you find that people were a lot more receptive to you? Mate, I that? come out, I finished second. I come out and it was just like the most uplifting thing in the world. It was just pure was likeable, cheer. Because I hadn't thought about it. I hadn't really thought like, oh, you know what? There might be a chance you can turn this around here and people might actually like you. That hadn't, genuinely hadn't crossed my mind. So then when I just go bang and I come out second... And there was fucking cheers, like it erupted. Like, I was robbed, you was robbed. You should have won that, you was robbed. <laughs> Denise is lovely, by the way. She's really, She's really best. Awesome. She is actually the best. But um, it felt unbelievable. And for about two weeks after that, because X Factor is a lot bigger than Big Brother, for about two weeks after that, walking down the street, I felt fine, I was comfortable. Did, did you go into the Big Brother though thinking, Here's a chance for a deal. Not like a you chance. Did, you just went in there thinking, no, not at all. Payday kind of thing. Yeah, like, yeah. pretty much. Well, it weren't even well, that. It yeah. was, not even that. It was, you're about to go on Celebrity Big Brother. Yeah, it's massive. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it was like, what hell could you even possibly think about saying no to that? And it was amazing. But it it paid it paid well for you basically. It, yeah, not, but not I never even saw value, that. Fuck. But it gave you a chance oh, it to did. actually redeem yeah, who you mate, were. Like, yeah, mate. Like, yeah, and like the way, like. So I was in there with Romeo. Remember, so solid crew. So I was in there with Romeo, right? Romeo Dunn. Yeah, Romeo Dunn. Yeah, I was in there with Romeo. What a fucking legend he is as well. And um, so after, I come out and I'm just fucking... They're doing 21 seconds on the after show of Celebrity Big Brother. And I'm just fucking behind them like... Oh, 21 seconds. They're all fucking just all over me. They love me. And it's like... I've really made it. <laughs> no, I've really turned this around. I'm on stage doing 21 seconds. You must have like, you've gone on from there. Obviously you were on X Factor. You were a fucking big mm. name and all that sort of stuff. Things carried on. You went on Big Brother, you're a big name. After that, you must have gone, like you say, had that moment with So Solid Crew on the after show and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> gone on there and done all sorts. Like as in public appearances, met all these people, done all these events. Mate. As I say, like obviously X Factor, I think our first live show was like 14 and a half million people who watched it live. Do you know what I mean? You know, they used to always do that, uh, oh, who's going to win tonight, Strictly or X Factor? Who's going to get the most viewers? I don't know if you're aware. That was a thing, yeah. right? And we fucking smashed it. It was at a time where we were battering them. That's Look at me, we. X That's Factor. a lot of people. Mate, a lot of people, right? That's like one in four or five people in the UK. Do you know what I mean? It was fucking massive. Gary's first live show, all that, like, whatever. Um, Big Brother, that was great for like two weeks. Like, it was sweet as, there was people being nice in the street and that, that soon drained out. Like, it weren't long before it was shit again. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'll be honest, like, yeah, it weren't long. You must have had a few gigs, though. Oh, yeah, I had fucking loads of that. Like, yeah, but what, you must have been doing big events. What were you doing after that? Not you big events. Like, it was all clubs. Well, I was you, just I was doing say, clubs. Were you going to like Malia? And... After Big Brother, Connor died, right? I lost my best mate, James, and I cancelled everything. It was quite, quite, quite soon after Big Brother as well, and I could have maybe been like, Bosh, this is the moment turned it around a little bit whatever didn't give a flying fuck genuinely when something like that happens I'm you know whatever I was like right fuck that cancel everything I'm spending all my all my time with my mates and we're gonna do this together and we're gonna get through this shit together 
when I come back round from that and was like, right, let's work again, it was gone. Simple as that. The work weren't there. That's it. Simple as that. Fuck. Yeah. I mean, that must like, Which is fine. Like, it's fine because I know I had that money. I Well, I feel like I don't believe in everything happens for a reason, all that bollocks. I really don't. But I had that money at a time where, fuck me, me and my mates needed it. Do you know what I mean? And I, I feel like I spent, spunked it all as well as I possibly could have at that time. What Simply was it? Who's that. the footballer? George Best. Yeah. He goes, yeah. I spent all my good money. Good mates <laughs> I spent all my money on <laughs> Not good uh, he likes women, <laughs> booze and drugs and I wasted the rest. Yeah. Simple as that. I know that I needed to do I that. I don't see eye to eye with Callum. Do you not? Why? He Why is that? He did a lot of the keto supplementation stuff, didn't he? Yeah, fair play. He did. I mean, Wayne... Awkward. Hey guys, welcome to Ocean Beach. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> Wayne. A I've never Wayne. met Wayne. I've never met Wayne, but me, I've got to say, I do like Callum. I, I like him. I went in for him quite. Went in on him quite. Fair play. Uh, I'm sure he's a nice guy. Yeah, he's always been sweet to me. I've done celebs go dating with him. Let's go dating. Let's go dating. I know. I've done that seven years after I was on telly. <laughs> <laughs> Says it all. <laughs> How did that go? Oh. It was great, to be fair. I only done it because I couldn't afford rent. And I got 25 grand. <laughs> was it? You got 25 grand? Was that one episode? Nah, it was like a month's work. Oh, right. Okay. But yeah, I, I genuinely was skint as fuck. And then they just... Like, yeah, I'll me. consider it. Well, no, I was like... Fuck. For a month. See, I that's said, the oh, worst yeah. thing as well. Like, oh, yeah, you know. I, I was doing all these fucking TV shows, like little ones, like where you get like a grand here and there, like stupid TV shows. I genuinely, how I felt after, and it's how I feel like I might feel after this podcast, James, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> like, honestly, it was, it was pain. It was hurting me. I was thinking, why the fuck did I fucking do that? But I was doing it because I couldn't fucking actually pay rent. Do you know what I mean? And it just got so out of hand. Met my wife. She's Aussie. And I was like, you know what? Well, I'll tell you what it was, actually. I started working with my mate, uh, Callum, back home. He's a plasterer. And walking in this house, working, whatever, I'm just knocking up his pug, whatever. And uh, geezer, I can hear a fucking geezer upstairs and he don't know that we can hear him. And he said hello. He's just another, he's like an electrician or whatever. Said hello, all that. And he's up there and he's just fucking slagging me off beyond belief. Like, oh, that fucking little wanker. Oh, what's he famous for? Being a fucking cokehead. All that. And I'm just looking at my best pal, like... One what one. the fuck? Like, I'm just here working. It's taken so much for me to, in Brighton, where I'm, people know who I am or know of me in that, to go to work anyway. Now I'm standing there looking at my best mate while we're just both listening to this geezer. Absolutely ruined me. So I said to Bianca, I was like, right, fuck this. Let's go Australia. Like, I can't be here no more. Like, all I could do was go to work. That's all I could do. And, and I've done it. And I just got and absolutely and fucking Oh, mate, it was horrible. Did they ever get you to sing at the club appearances or anything like that? Yeah, I started doing it, but you know what I was saying about the fucking bottles Bottles. and that? I just They were doing that while you were singing. Mate, yeah, bad. I used to have to do three songs, but I was getting stupid dough. But as I say, at the time, I didn't even think about the dough. Like, there was just, I was just being. I didn't know how much I was getting for each show or anything like that. Um, But yeah, on stage, just bottles. And I was like, I can't do that anymore got to a point which was annoying because I fucking loved it when I'd done the under 18 nights mate fucking I was like beads mate I was like Bieber I swear to god no you weren't I was <laughs> I'm telling you I was like baby no I'm telling you I, they were unreal but the adult the, the of age ones were fucking brutal like bad and I was like I just had to say to him I was like I can't sing anymore I just can't do it I Are can't you, uh, it's just brutal is Australia home now? 100%. Well, my little boy's Aussie. I can't go anywhere until he's 18. <laughs> <laughs> I really do love it here, mate. Oh, fucking right, mate. It's More than the UK. I, I'm, it's annoying because I've got a real love-hate relationship with it back home because of all that shit. And you know, as we were saying earlier, everyone's fucking miserable at home. They're a lot easier. I get in rails and that in the pub, fight. I don't. Look at the size of me. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, I'd do you two, but... <laughs> but do you know what I mean? It's not nice. I don't want to put my mates in situations like that, and I have done before. 
just from me being me and doing what I've done when I was 18. It's shit. Here, everyone's happy and I ain't had any grief. Like, I haven't had any as grief. As far as quality of life? Amazing. It's, I think it's the best place in the world. Is that, and I'm, I'm with you on this. I want my son to grow up here, if that's what you're saying. I'd love yeah. him to be a little English, Larry little fucker, but I'd much rather him be here. A lot of definitely. people back home, they don't understand it, but I say the same. I'm like, I yeah. want my kids' first oh, memories to be 100%. mornings at the beach. Fucking right. Like, it's gorgeous. I think I think for kids, that is, yeah. like, they obviously you don't understand because you're kids, but the, the opportunities that you have here are completely different to the ones you have back home, especially coming from, like, where we come from. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Places that aren't by the beach yeah, or they yeah, aren't yeah. like in the big city as, yeah, yeah, as such yeah. you know? like you, the quality of life here is a joke compared yeah. to back home but I do worry I about that like home. what you just said there I do worry that he's not going to appreciate it because it's normal to him that's why you get the belt out <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking I'm joking I'm joking <laughs> If only you knew what Brighton was like. Yeah. <laughs> I'll fly you business class yeah. back home to Madness. <laughs> and you'll know. No, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah, that they're going to grow up He will, he'll know. Cuts. Do you know what I mean? But, well, he's, he's going to have to take on your debt when he's 18 anyway, isn't he? That's what I mean. <laughs> El, what a stitch up that is. What a stitch up. Can you believe that? He's going to be on Google, YouTube. He's like, fucking hell, Dad, you've killed me here. Yeah. It's going to be a Lewis <laughs> Capaldi exactly moment. The same he's going to Google Frankie Coe's a net worth. Don't, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I just oh, cool. we'll do that to, to close up we're gonna <laughs> yeah, don't you. do that we'll kill him well done Fit net up. worth 1.5 million dollars fuck off yeah. that ain't me yeah Frank Cozen net worth Shut it up. does it says it, it does let, say let, me, let me see what it's got with the it. text man sees that <laughs> <laughs> image not available pop singer date of birth 17th of January 93 that's true uh, I think. horoscope Capricorn yeah bosh uh, <laughs> didn't take a genius <laughs> <laughs> someone could have worked out uh, let's have a look here uh, uh, sorry it's if anyone a bit erratic but Frank Curry is a net worth probably 1.5 million dollars <laughs> there's a text in the <laughs> not true that's what we're not saying true. not true in the slightest so what's says the, it all what's the future holding for yourself people come see you be nice Get your beer. Well, it's not even that. Like, if you, I, as I say, I don't like myself. I don't blame you for not liking me or whatever you've seen of me. I do not blame you. Just fucking give it a rest, mate. At least shake my hand first. Yeah. Understand don't that just you're a real, a, a real person. Do you know what I mean? Like, do you know what I mean? That's the thing. Obviously, it don't happen right. as much anymore, but. Show yeah. a bit of love. Show a bit of Every love. now and again, you mugs. <laughs> <laughs> and where they going to find you well, if we give you a little boost on Insta you might be able to get a few more paid posts thank you I appreciate it um, booty but... <laughs> I'm back <laughs> and then whatever he endorses just ignore but let the man get paid <laughs> um, thank you Cam for co-hosting tonight yeah. Ferris has gone to drop a rental car back <laughs> middle of a podcast he said three words over an hour bless him um, but yeah, this I appreciate it as well thanks for having me Jim yeah Bye. if you enjoyed this one uh, do give it a share but yeah that was fucking cool Cheers, lads. Care, mate. Thanks, boys.